And I was like, that's nuts. I didn't even, <laughs> I didn't I even have bread on the hook or anything, but I loved it. And it was our old, um, it was actually a saltwater rig that I did it with a very old one, probably bought at Kmart. My dad and I went fishing together and caught nothing in this one spot. I was really surprised that we didn't catch anything. Right. I don't know, Aid, but I wouldn't eat anything out of my drainage canal. Maybe further up in the lake where <laughs> everything kind of, because even the name sounds gross. It's a drainage canal. Like things. Yeah. It's kind of. <laughs> It drain disgusting yeah it sounds disgusting it's really it's just everything like the water table kind of drains in there and they push it out like when we get flooding it's to keep everything open so people don't get flooded but um yeah that's one of the reasons too i'm kind of a high and dry spot oh hey i'm set aquarius <laughs> ninja frog i'm not here lurking like a ninja frog at all not here. Okay. Shh. I didn't see him. I never saw him at all. <laughs> I don't, a Zebco, I don't know what that is. I'm not sure. Is that a, see, I'm so like, I'm not versed in, in, you know, even fishing. Okay. I oh, I like this. Is either. Shawnee said, um, Shiny shave. It depends on the season where I can find peaceful refuge. Currently, I've been just breathing deeply in my room with the door closed. Other times, I need the woods before the bugs get bad after rain. I yeah, mm -hmm. I would love that, Shawnee. I but see for me with the whole thing, like it, it would have to be like fall or like when it's wet. So right. I'm not just a little bit damp, so it dampens down everything, including like all the pollen. Fall is perfect. Oh, is that what it was called? The Kmart special fishing rod? I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, blue lights. I special. probably had the Kmart. I probably had the Goodwill special uh, oh, rod. Yeah, because... beauty. You probably got the Goodwill special. <laughs> I probably had the Goodwill special because we couldn't even afford. When we came here from Canada, the exchange rate was so, so big. I mean, mm. you know, it was like. Yeah couldn't afford anything yeah so. and I didn't know that like I was looking at overseas too like mm -hmm. um you know they always talk about the English countryside and I'm trying to learn like I want to do a night where we do uh it's not words with friends but words like from other cultures that we like you know like do you know what this means you know, just right. throw the word out and see if anybody gets what it means. And it's from maybe another culture. And so I was actually looking up stuff because aid, sometimes I'll text him about going live and like, we'll exchange different things, like just messages here and there. And yeah, some things he'll say, like, cause I, I told him, I I had an iguana in the back and um, I didn't get it on video. Instead, I turned my video on after the fact. And he's like, you must have been gutted. And I'm like, okay, that one I've got. Yes, I was gutted. <laughs> yes, it tore my insides out. I was gutted. But some others, um, like, uh, oh, shoot, Aid, I forgot that one. Because it sounds bad, but it's not bad at all. And they use it. But anyway, so yeah, I want to do one of those lives one night. And I was saying exchange rate sorry over to england if uh -huh. you have like a hundred thousand dollars here american dollars you take that to go buy property over in the english countryside you now just have seventy five thousand. yeah it's like takes a quarter right at, that's a huge chunk of change right yeah I, know. I think i think for canadians uh we go over there it's uh we go we, we have even less when we go over and make the uh -huh. exchange Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's rough. And I would love to go and see Europe and everything. Well, not right now. Hey, moon over Miami. Welcome yeah. in. Um, but yeah, I couldn't believe that. I'm like, oh, I didn't know the exchange rate was like take a quarter of my money over there. Huh. Yeah. Huh. No, you're you are better off to come to Canada. You have so. way more bang for your buck coming up here. Yeah. But I can't afford your island, and that's where I would want to go because I could grow really, you know, everything. 
just like yeah. everything. Yeah. yeah. But it wouldn't yeah. get so ding, ding, ding hot though. No, exactly. And it's mm -hmm. going to probably after all this rain we're getting right now. It was mm -hmm. funny because that comedian again, the OM OMG, it's Wix, did a thing on the rain. Yeah. If you guys get a chance, go see that short. It is hilarious. But it's basically him being the rain. And he's like outside his window. So he's like, oh, I see you. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, we needed some rain. Like he's just acting like Floridians do. And then mm -hmm. you look outside again and this rain ain't stopping. And then it's like, oh, it's going to be all day. Okay. I'm, I'm dealing with you all day. Like it's just pouring all day long. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. somebody wrote in the comment section like, well, rip my weekends because back to mowing my lawn every single week. Yeah. Crazy. We really need some rain right here. I tell wow. you. Yeah, Brazil. You what? Wait a minute. You get six from them for one American dollar. Wow, but they're not doing that well, right? Will it grow? I don't know. Uh, I would. I had friends that would go to Brazil and um, certain areas like well that's anywhere but certain areas like cities and things like that just like New York City they would like rip gold off the women they would just right. whoop, take it and well, I, uh, got, go I got 50 kroner from somebody the other day and it turned out to be four dollars <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's like that's like when the uh, the pesos or something the Mexican yeah. dollars come in yeah, yeah. That's a, I forget who does that. I don't know. If it's, it's such a blessing. I, I'm just always so stoked anyway. So yeah, like, that's amazing. Thank you. It's such a blessing. Oh, I won't put that up. Will it grow? But yeah, I've I've kind of heard it's gone really downhill. It's sad. It's really sad. Hey, hey Mama Jay. Hey, Mama Jay. Good to see you. Thanks for coming in. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, I was looking at, you know, just dreaming like, oh, English countryside, because my mind does that. Like you can tell by the way I talk. It's like, we it's like yeah. a windy road. That's and spaghetti I, brain is what. Yes, I get spaghetti yeah. brain. I, I do. <laughs> yep. Our, our rabbit trailer. It's like, rabbit. Yep. <laughs> oh, we had one in our backyard. Speaking of that, Hannah mm -hmm. filmed it. I'm going to do maybe a little short on it, but with some music, because all you hear yeah. is Malachi playing with his cars in the background. It's I've, I've been finding aspired, well, um, a couple of rabbits hey. that have passed away in my yard. That's not good. No. Really? And then one had kits in my garden. <gasps> uh huh. And they didn't make it. Oh, no. What yeah. could be causing that? That's scary. Yeah. So I'm like, okay. Ooh. I just turned on. Um, my fence wasn't hitting for my chickens. And so mm -hmm. I had to go out and. Wiley, Hi, Wiley. And Magnificent. Um, hold on. Magnificent Germany with Daring and Kim in. Hey, I hope Magnificent. You, Magnificent, I hope you get to check out that store I told you about in uh, Peddler's Village. All right. Go ahead. And so they were dying and then you were. Well, I, I, I turned up my fence, let's just say. Oh. So maybe they can't even get in there. So. Yeah, because maybe. I'm, 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 I, I'm getting the advantage of, um, let's say, um, a rabbit poo in all my garden beds. <laughs> so yeah, um, yeah, I, mm -hmm. I need that fence to hit. <laughs> yes, you do. You got to keep those coyotes out of your chickens. Out of my chickens, yeah. yeah. I, I oh, just have to nice. go, I mm -hmm. just have to go answer an email, so I'm just going to block, block okay. myself over. Okay. All right. It's a potential, yeah. uh, a potential um, <clears throat> tenant. So, oh, wonderful. Okay, mm -hmm. great, great, great. So, uh, we're I praying thought... for, we're praying that it's a good one and a keeper. Yeah. She's name it. <laughs> yes, awesome. Yes, yes. You planted your corn yesterday. Very good. Oh, sweet. Yeah, sweet. it's past corn time here, but I would love to do that. I have that's some corn that's been waiting on being planted. But with that's the thing too with the rats in the background over well always and mm -hmm. everywhere, but especially in my backyard coming in, corn is like their favorite. Like yeah, it's like, it's like just ring a dinger bell. I mean a dinner bell, a dinger bell. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I have. Like, You've been listening bell. to the rain saying ding, ding, a ding. <laughs> <laughs> too 
by so me. So dang hot. <laughs> dang, dang hot. That's right. It's true. Oh, That's I love true. it when she says it. It's so cute. It is. I know. She has such cute little euph- euphemism. Euph- I can't say the word. I'm not even going to try. But like, yeah, I love her. Euph- euphemisms? Yeah. Euphemisms. There you go. Euphemisms. Euphemisms. Euphemism. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, sorry, yeah, I, no. sorry about my night bot. I, I, I oh my. have gone and tried to turn it off, but no, it's fine. It's just I yeah, I have to give it a second look. Like how how do you get in here? I don't <laughs> <laughs> who, who is my bot? Why is my bot there? Who oh, are you? Really? Up, bedhead. Mm-hmm. I um found this and that's one of the, I found this devotional today that I like found it after the fact. I wish I found it earlier, but I was going through the poo. So, mm-hmm. um, it, just the title call for help and cool your jets. Oh, I love that. But it just turned over. This one was the other one. It was talking about guard your thought life mm. and, yeah, that's one of the things to find peace. We have to make sure that we're believing truth. Right. And, you know, th- that isn't necessarily all we're being fed right now. And through media, through YouTube, through even, you know, just our own mind, like our own mind. I've seen it with people and I've, I've warned people like, uh, you're going to create a self-fulfilling prophecy. You keep Mm -hmm. down that negative road about that or that person and you're going to create that for yourself because you're going to adjust your behavior because you're thinking that's truth. And um, yeah, it was uh, stay alert, watch out your great enemy. The devil prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. And I think that's, you know, when we get devoured is when we go down that path and we don't turn and figure out like, okay, this is a trigger, but I don't need to necessarily be triggered by it. Um, yeah. And, and it talks about staying in the moment, you know, God doesn't want you behind or in front of yourself mentally, you know, too mm-hmm. far. You can set goals and stuff, but he doesn't want you making up stuff that's right. in the future. Cause we always forget to put him in it. We're always like, we get all anxious about the future and we forget that he's already there. Is there already? Hello, a mm-hmm. moment in this world. Hey, moment in this world. Oh, okay. Oh, wonderful. That's your devotional channel. Okay. That's nice. nice. That's really nice. I'll have to yeah. hit it up. I just, yeah. so you're over one... on Eva's. Let me open you, Diva. I didn't open you yet. Oh, here. Oh, I didn't oh, think. Yes. Oh, I didn't yes. open. I mean, open no, your. I, no, 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 they're not on mine. That's on yours. There's no paper clip, darling. Oh, they're on mine. Oh, are... oh, 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 Lord, you're open too. Okay, let me open you. Oh, both. Lord, did you you um you got yeah, all your I... streamyards? Uh, it works on your guys's. It doesn't work on mine, probably because I have the five dollar one. Right. Oh, right. I have. Yeah, so you I'm can just... you can Ten. grab into it. So yeah, um, yeah. Mm-hmm. So when I when I go to sleep, I I do um, you know, things like a moment in this world where I like it's. It's scripture versus being read, you know, and there's a little yeah. bit of music in, in it. and I it's, that. Yeah, yeah. And it's so, um, especially when you're falling asleep, because then you're listening to promises. And I agree with you that you get, you can get into a place where, um, where you go, man, I'm just under it. And, mm-hmm. uh, and I go and I become ex- extraordinarily negative um, yeah. about mm-hmm. just about myself, you know, yeah. and you know, and it's like when you start listening to those promises or positive words, it's like, okay, yeah, remember, you know, this too shall pass, this will not stay. And, you know, and sometimes you just have to sit low in the boat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Make yourself sit just low in the boat. And, um, you know, I had a, like, you know, my day was, was when you started out and you're like, okay, okay. So I didn't, I didn't, um, I didn't wake up to poo. But uh, I did wake up to a lot of um, crazy, crazy, chaotic crisis within my family. And, um, and, it, and it's just like the text messages that were just coming through. At, at one point, I just went, okay, stop, 
Stop, yeah. stop, stop. And then I just went and looked for scripture verses to go, here's what we need to remember. This is what we need to remember. Stop, yeah. stop slinging mud. And, you know, and it's just, you're all in the middle of it. And then at the same time, it's like, okay, and I got a big bread and, and mm. uh, I couldn't get my fire started. And, and it was just this kind of running around and around and around. But it's like, again, it's like, okay, I just need to stay low in the boat. I don't need mm -hmm. to. I don't need to do anything, just get low in the boat. So uh, for me, it's um, it's usually, uh, you know, kind of just background um, scripture verses or things being read. Or for my other peaceful, quiet thing is I play um, farm games, you know. Yes. Just, you know, I play I play hours and hours of farm games. I'll just, you know, go and uh, <laughs> harvest some corn and, oh, I need to make some blankets and then I got to fill up faster. We had, Cindy's not here because she's having phone trouble, but she and I play the Timu games and so does Trish and okay. uh, Janet because you could win stuff and they'll send it to you, but you realize, and so does Storms, and you realize though it's like, okay, this is probably going to take me like a year to get, <laughs> to get those things. Hey, Food Forest. Hey, Food Forest. Welcome in. Yeah, so I, I, uh, those are those are the nine, nine mumming, mind numbing things that I do. Yeah, but, I agree, um, Trish. You know, or it's uh, oh, I also hey, I um, when you look at uh, how big I am, I love to eat my feelings. That's another place of peace mm. that I go to. <laughs> yeah, you know, I do my too. daughter, my when like my daughter was working, she'd come home and I'd go, um, so shall we go and eat my feelings? And she's like, you know, and she's whatever day she's had, she's like, yes, we'll go and eat your feelings. We can go get some Chinese food and. <laughs> no. I, mm. Oh yeah. I know. That's what I've been doing for 10 years. And that's why I'm like, I've got to stop and start yeah. eliminating. We talked about like eliminating stuff from the diet because mm. of, this, because of the sad diet, how many of us have, basically yeasts and things in us that are growing mm -hmm. that shouldn't be. And, you know, then we end up with leaky gut and everything else. And just by eliminating, it was saying sugar and dairy, those two feed it so well mm -hmm. that you can knock it back a bit. And then there was other suggestions too. And then we got to the point where it's like, okay, uh, what are we eating? Cause you know, it's a discussion and, um, oh gosh, yes, I know. Yes, me too. I was looking at that. I'm like, yes, chocolate ice cream is yeah, my favorite. That was what I. That was what I. Get your troubles, come on, get happy. <laughs> Eat the chocolate to, to cares away. <laughs> get happy on the judgment day. The day. Right. Yeah, I, I have, I have, I, yeah, I haven't. I used to teach the song to my students, but. <sighs> Yeah. Uh, yes, here's our other game yeah. player, but it's Minecraft. Coming over to shame you for playing games as an adult. If it were <laughs> Minecraft, I would say nothing, though. But I give you a thumbs up. <laughs> you pay for the privilege to come and say since Minecraft is not a game. Okay, sure. You know, you want to believe it's that, Mister? Mine. Mm -hmm. I'm building. I'm building this farm, and I have to yeah. buy buildings and houses. Yeah, Minecraft like about building stuff too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's and like yeah, she's know. building. It's the same. You're dying with all this food talk. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, it mine's an elimination diet, so I hear you. I'm, yeah, I'm in the word. I, hey, I got desire hey. for me. I want to commend you for being able to uh, do elimination because that is amazing. Because it yeah. is hard, yeah. when especially it's 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 the fact that your body is actually addicted to some of those things like, and, and whatever's going on in there, it's going, Hey, I need more of that sugar or I need da, 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 da. And so, you know, I'm, you know, kudos and I'm proud of you. So thank you. Yeah. I'm not perfect in it. Like tonight, I realized the gummy that I wanted from my day to also help me just take it down a notch, uh, had sugar coating. So, but it was just that. That's the first sugar I've really had. Um, so, yeah, I don't touch it. I'm very, yeah, I'm low carb too. 
Howie. Yep. I drink water. I've been drinking the warm water because I heard that too. Yep. Yeah. Well, congratulations to you, Howie. That's, That's great. Awesome. That's that wonderful. Awesome. Yeah. I used to say that. Um, yeah. Uh, about three years ago, I had, or I you know, yeah, two years ago, I said that, and then, mm -hmm. and then I just said, I want to eat my feelings, and so we're slowly yeah. but surely getting ourselves back, you know. Especially when I look at old videos of me or old photos, and it's like, oh my gosh, mm -hmm. when you were forty pounds lighter, you know, it's like yeah. you you yeah. you moved much better. Your knees didn't yes. hate you. <laughs> yeah, That's yeah, I, I, I definitely feel that. And also with mm. being creators, I caught the backside of myself on camera a few too many times where I was like, <laughs> something's going on back there that wasn't going on back there like uh, <laughs> 10 years ago. We're like building I mean, condominiums It's or hard something. because we're all at that age too where things change yeah, and it's harder than ever to lose weight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And exactly. all of that stuff. And it's just like, yep. And then you know, when you eat your feelings and you, yeah, uh, yeah, I would love to eat my feelings and ice cream. I can't bring it into the house and I right. like try to hey, Duncan. Keep, it, keep it out. Hey, Duncan, 1900 Homestead. Um, definitely try to keep it out. Yeah. I, I, I had pizza tonight, but I did not have cheese on it. Wow. So did you try wow. like the focaccia way with the olive oil? And I didn't. Maybe a I just didn't seasoning? put the cheese on it. Oh, okay. <laughs> My husband's like, what's wrong here? <laughs> it's naked pizza. I'm like, hey, cooked faster, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Carbs do. I am still going to partake in the pseudo grains, which we were talking a little bit about, which is, mm -hmm. um, I want to get some millet and try that. I've never had it before. And because uh, all I can think of it is my birds used to love it and it was so tiny. So how does that make an, anything like a meal? Like, or mm -hmm. even a side? I don't know. Yeah, like, got to have a bird mouth. And then, but buckwheat was good. I liked making that like a cream of. That was mm -hmm. good. And I would put bananas and some applesauce. I just need to now create my own applesauce, which I've heard is quite easy. I've just never done it. Yes. Um, and the other one, I think, what was it, Shawnee? We were talking about chia seeds. I don't necessarily need to use the chia seeds. Oh, I know. It's that other, it's not necessarily a grain. They Quinoa, it is a grain, but it's not like grains because it's got a little Ew. bit more protein profile and it's got the amino acids that's the same thing with buckwheat is it has like all the amino acids and it's like a protein mm -hmm. but anyway yeah so i need to get those things so i stay off sugar sugar and and basically the book that i had gotten which is a little bit of an older book because i saw it recommending like some of the oils that you know, it was weird because it said you could use butter and olive oil, but stay off dairy. And I'm like, well, that would be ghee then. That wouldn't be butter if it was, yeah, if you're staying off dairy. Mm -hmm. What? David the Good came in? Where's David? Oh, there he is. Thank you. Hey, David the Good. Hey, David. Aww. Appreciate you coming in. Thank you so much. Good to see you. But yeah, the eliminating of sugar is difficult because it's um, in everything. If you're still eating something in a box, it's going to be in there. So that's what I'm trying to eliminate is all that that comes in a box. There we go. The quinoa. There we go. Quinoa, millet, buckwheat, and amaranth were the ones that you could have instead of the typical grains. Mm. And he was saying, like, if you're going to have rice... And I was like, why are you even going there? This seems so complicated. <laughs> why? And he starts talking about brown rice, but he was saying about brown rice, you need to soak it and, you know, and then rinse it, but like soak it quite a while to get some of the stuff off that is counterintuitive to right. your gut. Oh, hey, yeah. Casey. Casting for 44, 55. Casey's 55. There we go. We got it. One of them. Yeah, yeah, one of those. Do one your, of those. Do your kids still have seeds? Because that's where I, I got some from them. I even shared a little bit with Glenn. Nice. 
Oh, Golden Giant. I'll have to look that one up. Thanks, David. Appreciate yeah, it. And I think um, David Corey of the Crop, he just uh, started growing amaranth. Yeah. It's like, oh, oh, he did a short and I went, oh, I need to go get some amaranth. And, and then the part of me went, did I buy some amaranth in a, in a you know, in a fit we'll of. I'll have to go check that out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. And then it was saying, I know, I was like, mm, interesting. Yeah. It well, I told you it was an older book, but it had some really great ideas as far as what we should eliminate. Just have to watch what it was saying, adding back in because it is a little dated. And of course, you know, we can go through different books and see and compare and contrast because we're all a different petri dish. And what's gonna work for me is not necessarily gonna work for everybody except the sugar thing. I am adamant about the sugar thing. You need to get off of a lot of sugar. Okay. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. the one I am definitely. But yeah, the rest I of it everybody can benefit from that because yeah. it affects everybody. No matter yes, what. it is good for the plants. I said that casings this morning. I said save that water for the plants. That's yeah. right. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. very, very good. I, and yeah, I I'm actually the, the Korean Korean natural gardening or Korean natural farming is where you make a a tea where you or yeah, it's kind of like a tea. And then um you put in in your way into it, and then it makes a really great food for your plants. Yeah, you, you know, and you let it separate and stuff like that. When I was making cheese and butter, then we had you know way up the wazoo, <laughs> and yeah. um, yeah, Pensacola is then, so far. Mm, sorry, he's having a seed. He's having a plant sale. DTG mm. is up more towards northern, and he'll do stuff in central. Golden type of the crazy. Oh wow! Okay. So wait, you didn't save seeds? Wait a minute, David the Good. What? What? You have to get <laughs> seeds again. I oh, you probably just sold all the little plants. That's what it was. Oh, good night, Howie. Good night, Howie. Thanks for coming in. Um, good night, Howie. I have to hold on. I have to go over to the other side to open that for later from rare seeds. Wee. Oh yes, it's L A B. That's right. Yeah, I have a I have my kids bought the Korean Natural Farming book. Um, like it's mm. a download. So it is somewhere in the depth of one of my many uh um external hard drives. <laughs> so it's on there somewhere and I just have never printed it out. Right. because uh, when I wow. first and that was back in twenty twenty and it was like, Yes, I'm gonna do Korean natural farming and I only got the yeah. L A B. Yeah, I have a book on it, but it's the same thing. Laura knows me with books. Now you do too, Diva. I like kind of glance through them like a magazine. And Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, oh, except for David the Good books. You know, you got to read those. You know, Cover to cover. Cover to cover. Cover to cover. I have. I cover have. To cover. Laura's Actually, been better. I gave, I gave away my, um, my, my um, compost everything book. And I'm, oh, now I'm like, I oh, got it. <laughs> I want to refer to it now. <laughs> so I might have to buy another one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Although it's wow. pretty easy to post everything, including your enemies. So. <laughs> yeah. All right. Wow. I'm one sorry. pound of seed from one plant. That's awesome. Yeah. My birds used to love it. So definitely you could, you know, support a lot of birds on that. It would yeah. be hard. Yeah, I'd probably have to put, you know, the bird netting over over top of it, Shawnee, or some kind of lighter drape of uh, tool or something. I'm sorry. I get that too, but it's a kink in the neck or it's the fibro. That's exactly where you kind of hurt. You feel like you have mm -hmm. a kink in the neck all the time. Hi, Mike's Chaotic yes. Garden. I don't know. GTG, I heard you got a book out, a new book. <laughs> I did not compost the book. <laughs> <laughs> they compost. Well, at least they did what you said. <laughs> Yay. That's awesome. Thank you, Shawnee, for reminding us all. There we go. Get to your. So it's available pretty much on all the places, DTG, or like, is it? Is there any specific place you want to promote where you will get a little bit more? Yeah. Um, since this, 
you know, is going to support your family. Oh, good. I think, oh, no, that's not a pen. Why are there never pens around when you want one <laughs> and need one? It's yeah. like the person who calls you and you're like, hold on. And every pen you grab, like, mm -hmm. is dry. I know, you know? Where, where all my pens go. They go to Bubba Land. Bubba Land. The, dog. oh, the dogs eat them. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. yeah, we have to be careful with Malachi because he would do that, too. Yeah. And we don't we don't have a dog or a Malachi, but uh, when I was homeschooling mom of five kids, you go, I couldn't find like a crayon, pencil, crayon, pen, <laughs> pencil. It was like, where is everything Thanks, going? Right. Why is it all gone? So it just did. There. Right the There's Amazon the link. Art. Awesome. So Amazon. Okay. Thank yeah. You. And if you want to, I think you guys have a link over on your uh, channel, DTG. So Hopefully you would get a little bit more credit by doing it that way or this way, whichever, just buy the book, everyone just buy the book. That's my, I will be adding, I will be adding that to my collection. List. Yeah. I like Mike's chaotic gardening. Whoever names that amaranth was dramatic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I missed that one. That's so funny. I yeah. think I get, well, That's very oh, cute. wow. Wild. That's wild. <laughs> but the viewers Hallelujah. say, oh, Hallelujah. They tell, they, Jamaicans love their Kalaloo. Hmm. I don't know. My Renaissance grandma got a, got a, Jamaicans would know their cat. They would know that plant. So if it's a Jamaican, uh, like who has, is familiar with that plant, they would know maybe, um, he oh, just said it's a Jamaican can. name for amaranth. It's just the. It's just the. Jamaican oh, there you go. Oh, well, see, that's when it's awesome to have David the Good in chat. Yeah. Not like that. Yeah. It's not mm -hmm. completely awesome, Mike, no matter yeah, what. Mike but. said. Mike said it's the same. <laughs> yeah. There we go. I didn't know that. Okay. There oh, that's awesome. really? That's interesting. But if you're in Granada or Trinidad. Kalalu is cooked taro leaves. Interesting. Mm. Yeah, my taro started to sprout, but I didn't get it out in the garden fast enough. So I got to go get some more taro. But it was like right at the Asian market. So I'm going to get some, sprout some, you know, someday. Because, you know, that's me. Someday. Yep. I keep, well, I just keep looking at the yard and trying to figure out like, okay, what plant is going where? And do I want to plant that fruit tree or am I selling that fruit tree and getting a dwarf mango, even though it flowered for me? I think I'll wait and see if it makes a mango and see if the mango is any good now. Yeah. Like there's just always something that kind of puts a hold on putting everything all together. Right. Yeah. So, but I do want to get some of the taro. I want to have a, a quite a few roots in the ground in case things go bad that's just quick calories you know quick calories for sure hmm. oh, so our moment in the world word oh did he say goodnight oh gosh i'm delayed or something over here or i missed stuff i'm sorry if i did guys oh it was way up i'm sorry a moment in the world I have a good night if you're still listening yeah, I, I missed those two because those that was the one that Maureen caught. My eyes skimmed right over. And I almost <laughs> missed BTG's joke, too, except you said it. Thank you. <laughs> Something going on with my eyes tonight. Sell my twig. No, I, I don't want to sell the twig. It's my 45-year plant tree. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, it's a, it's a, like nitrogen fixing plant. It's just that my husband might mow over it if I put it outside to fix anything right now. That's the only problem. Mm -hmm. Almost like a double pot a tree. I'm not sure. Oh, Dan does. That's funny. Food forest, Dan. Well, there you go. He just didn't realize maybe that fact that DTG laid down that it's the same plant. I haven't seen that movie yet, but I'm kind of interested in seeing it about, um, what is it, the title of it, I can't think of, but it's about Bob Marley. I just want to oh, see yeah. yeah, I just want to see it. 
But, you know, it's so hard to trust movies these days with the stuff that they just slide in there. I know. You'll be watching a movie and enjoying it. And then you're like, really? <laughs> you had yeah. To go there. I know. Yeah, Mike, I just thought of that. Like, I want roots in the ground, but I better have a way to heat some water and I better have water. Yeah. Yeah, the oxalates, too, for people who are really sensitive to that. Yep. But the taro that I made, like mashed potatoes, was delicious and tasted to me very close to mashed potatoes. So it definitely could be a, a white potato alternative right. um, during that time. Like I'm not eating any of that right now. I'll plant it and basically it's kind of a storehouse for later just underground. Mm -hmm. I know so, that's me that I do that too. Sometimes it's really hard. I get twitchy in my seed, especially during suspense. <laughs> I do I too. Do. I like if it's at home, I'll get up and like do something yeah. if it's really like tight, like suspense. So oh, yeah. uh, when you were first starting out your stream, Carol, you were mentioning, um, was there some fighting going on in the news? Like that you can kind of basically sort of tell me because it's like, I I'm going, what? No, there was, it, just it was just YouTube drama and. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So like that's, it's like you're getting hit from every side. And I was also watching friends like they were having a hard time who like I was talking to today. It was just a really weird day today. And mm -hmm. I forget, Garney Warrior, didn't you say something? What's going down? Are we having some kind of change with the moon or something? Is that something going on? Somebody was saying something like that in one of the messenger groups. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it could be something uh, atmospheric. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. You know, we are we are heading into um, Easter, right? Mm -hmm. There you go. So, yeah. so there could be something something yep. with that that's going on. Yeah. Yes. True. Yeah, because it just it it really felt like I I just felt like I was I was in a spin. Mm. Um, not that I was busy, but it was just like. You know, it's like, okay, why can't I get the fire started with the bread? Is the bread cooked? It's not cooked. Cook it some more. Don't cook it some more. You're going to burn it. You know, it was just this crazy thing. And then yeah. all the, the text from my family that, that, you know, the shots that are being fired between the two. I shouldn't actually mm. say that. Yeah. That's the wrong term. The negative words that were being said back and yeah. forth. And, um, yeah. It just, yeah. just yeah, seemed like a, a weird, a weird day. And, uh. So when I was like, oh, you know, the a peaceful refuge, where do you find yours? It was like, okay, well, yeah, that would have been good for me to try to find my peaceful refuge at about two o'clock today. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I didn't oh. hear that at a concert. Ugh. Mm. Interesting. Yeah, I'm wondering how the news is going to pan out. And last night, too, I was on uh, Late Night Live, and it just... Uh, it's amazing how God will steer us away from things and we don't even really know why we yeah. were going to, when we were going to move up to Georgia, um, you know, I, I actually had spoken to a man that we were going to run from, shook his hand, told him, you know, to go home, talk to my husband, but it looks like it's a done deal. And we were going to go rent a town home until, you know, then Theron would be up in just a couple weeks, like basically. Yeah. And my mom went and had reflexology while we were at the mall and it let loose like a tornado event, but she wouldn't, she went into the bathroom and just let it out. And I wake up in the middle of the night and she's sobbing and mm -hmm. asking me not to go. And so like I put it into even more prayer and, um, you know, and that was when I think I had that time with the Lord where I was like, you know what, I've been kind of leading and I haven't given you the lead and I'm really sorry. And I'm going to surrender that to you right now. And it, that shifted kind of everything. And that's when mm -hmm. I got the verse, like he gave them everything they wanted, but he sent leanness into their souls. When I asked mm -hmm. him about Georgia, anyway, I, last night he kept us from that move. And last night I'm listening to this live stream and, uh, they were talking about Lake Lanier and it's history. Let me just read this and I'll get back to it. Hiram is the week. Oh, okay. 
have the same issues as me. I think maybe someone found a Jumanji game. <laughs> and they haven't finished it yet. Yeah, yeah. that might be yeah. it. I'm instead Aquarius. And all the animals are loose in Florida, except they're all reptiles. Yeah. There's a fire on the roof wall. Oh, 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 horrible. I can't believe they had that break out there. They always like, you always think that they're such a controlled place that wow that's horrible god we just lift those people up how fearful they yes. must be and in pain that you would just heal the people of moscow and uh that those people would be brought to justice that harmed them in this way oh that's yes. terrible pray for the families too if anybody lost family members and just yeah. strengthen them and give them what they need god in jesus name yes. uh wow wow that's terrible so terrible wow um, so anyway, I'm on this live stream last night and Lake Lanier is over a town that used to belong to black population mm -hmm. of Georgia and Fulton County that after an incident happened um, between a white girl and, and a black boy, supposedly, like, cause you know, they would scare the living crap out of, uh, young black boys back then mm -hmm. if a white girl got hurt because it was just the climate of those times in certain areas not every area anyway uh it caused a chain of events to where the night riders pushed that whole town out and many drowned because they sought refuge to then they couldn't go over the bridge and it was water where they went and many of them drowned like oh, uh, wow. And the, the only way I knew that was I went and watched a little bit about it afterwards. And mm -hmm. he was a descendant of a man that survived. And the man couldn't even talk about it without crying every time. Like, it, it was just that horrible. And uh, anyway, years later, they decide to put it under Lake Lanier, man, a huge man-made lake, including their graveyards. What? They've got, yeah, and they left some of the buildings intact. Like, tell me that is not cursed. It's yeah. cursed. Yeah, wow. Yeah, I, and I feel so horrible that we have been so segregated in our history that I didn't know that story till just last night. Yes. I didn't know that story till just last night. That and is absolutely it's horrific and it's not the only town. And these are towns that, you know, black America was being successful. They were forming a safe place for themselves after the years of slavery. And yeah, there was one that, and I might've been in Florida. I'm not sure casing because this is all new to me. And I'm just finding out some of these stories and, uh, this was like a place where there was doctors and lawyers of color and they went and they started burning buildings and burnt them out of the area. So like that I went into like during the night, just thinking that it hurt my heart so bad. And then like today was just crazy and I'm just so much anger. And I'm just like, you know, Lord, where is that peace but i remember too david was like you know why do my enemies prosper like it's nothing new yeah. under the sun it's nothing new this yeah, exactly pull and tug and horror about you know man like how horrible man can be but then we look at other stories where you know we see people raising funds for vets who maybe need a vehicle and mm -hmm it's given to him like uh, somebody steps in and he gets a vehicle that he desperately needed and right or reaching out to families or even these like food banks that are popping up now that's something i wanted to start in our small little church and i didn't right. get i just didn't get the support for it you know yes rosewood was the town where they burnt them out netta and um that was here in florida and it makes me mm -hmm. sick and i will never live near that area in florida nope no nope because the 
you know, God said, we, that oppression that's hanging no, that oppressive spirit, the, yeah. the demonic spirits above that area. Yeah, no, uh, uh, I wouldn't be there. And like, even God said, like when, it, when there was a killing, it was the blood that cried out to him from the ground. Mm -hmm. So, you know, God's hearing that up from heaven and how much it must break his heart too. Right. Yes. Music and driving. My daughter loves music. That's her, her thing too. She'll put oh, on music. I love that too. Mm -hmm. When I take a long trip, it's like, just crank it up and sing it out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But yeah, so it was like, I went to bed with a, such a heavy heart that this mm -hmm. is stuff that happened, but also I didn't learn it. They kept it from my education. Mm -hmm. And then now you get a month, but it's really also curated kind of stuff of what, mm -hmm. you know, because you know, it's public school. It's what they want to tell. But right. even Florida, like I, I've got to look into it more. I don't know if it's a group of people in Florida that uh, it made it sound like, oh, uh, that like slaves were happy to be slaves. And it's like, I'm sorry, my Irish ancestors were not happy to be say, slaves. Mm -hmm. Oh, also not just, you know, people of color. This happened to um, Homestead Aquarius shared about Lake Tahoe that mm -hmm. they, you know, the Chinese people who came here were working on a job, I guess, in Lake Tahoe. You have to go and look it up, but just look up what's buried under Lake Tahoe. And mm -hmm. then what's even creepier is, it's at a perfect temperature where it preserves people. Oh. Yeah. And they believe there's underground caverns that go all the way up to another lake. And what will happen is somebody might disappear in Lake Tahoe and they're found up at the other lake. Weird. Yeah. No. And my brother has like a, a property out there. I'll tell you what, if I inherited it, it's getting sold. There, anyway, there are chi these Chinese people who came here, Chinese Americans, um, you know, same thing, slaves, mm -hmm. like slave labor, were treated as once they, servants, most of them, right? But, servants, some, yeah. yeah. Um, but once they finished the job, rather than pay them a, a measly wage for what they did, they killed them all mm -hmm. and sunk them to the bottom of Lake Tahoe. And there was rumors that not all of them were dead when they sunk them. Mm. So like the atrocities that men can do and then you know in, in comparison to like the drama on youtube drama is like it's going to be drama if people got to draw attention to themselves that way in their channel and bring that kind of power more pro, you know good for them you you are going to reap what you're sowing on yourself mm -hmm. more yeah. or less but it doesn't compare to that it doesn't compare to like what I woke up to this morning and what I'm facing moving forward with my son and his disabilities. Right. right. Yeah. Kept no, I mean, you know, the important things in life, you know, and then, you know, there's the, the noise <laughs> and, and it's, it's noise. And that's, I think that's the way you kind of have to think. That's the way yeah, I it's, think noise. About it. the way. Yeah. it's noise. And, it's um, And it's it's getting worse, and people are mm -hmm. are the selfishness and the selfish mm -hmm. for selfish gain, and yes. you know the hard heartedness is definitely yep. starting. We see it uh, getting worse. Yeah, definitely. But <laughs> will it grow being a stinker? I find lots of peace whenever Robert doesn't call me for a week. You know you love it. Will it grow? You guys, you buy. <laughs> You have you you two probably have a spill the tea chat. We know, we know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I hate that. I hate that. And sometimes I'll it's really hard. Like you gotta look away or just it happens on my phone too when I go on YouTube. Some of the suggestions, I'm like, nope, I don't want that. Put that away. Mm -hmm. I have to go to the little three dots or whatever. Yeah. Um but yeah, and the kids call it doom scrolling too, if you are get your mind into those it's like the mm -hmm. doom and gloom you don't want to doom scroll it's not good for no. your, your no. mindset but i like that noise yeah the noise that keeps us from our peace or tries to interrupt it mm -hmm. yep 
I like that a lot. What is that? First day as humans of all corners of the earth have failed and triumphed. We have been good and evil. Yep. All races and creeds, all religions. Yep. All humans. But we all have free will. That's right. We all need to make the better decisions for ourselves with what we can do within our right. self in our own home. Yep. As the Scottish were also slaves for other various purposes. Yep. Mm. Yeah, well, yep, every, like, uh, like Homestead Aquarius was saying, it's all humans, and humans are the worst animals on earth, as Willa Gross said. Yes, they can be. That's, that's one thing that's contradictory, where people talk about, oh, um, how the heart, oh, but he's basically good at heart. No, not one person is good at heart, God says. The heart is desperately yeah. wicked, and who can know it? Only God is good, you know. I see. Well, like we're, I don't think we're animals. I think that we need to rise, rise above. I think we have true. for what we do. Yeah, that's true. And so it's even more wicked than what an animal would do. You know, when an animal acts out, it's just losing its mind, right? Mm -hmm. It's just, you know, yeah. um, we make conscious decisions about what we're doing. Wait. Right. Let me see. Hold up. Ooh. Yeah, we all reap what we sow. Mm -hmm. I am in. Yes, we do, Duncan. We all do. That's why I have to make a conscious effort not to sow nastiness anymore. I believe that's where it's heading to with illegal immigration. All the big conglomerates are getting rid of American workers and hiring. That's going to be just really bad they it's like they're stirring up society in order mm -hmm. to uh do population control yeah they want they it's like they want us to kill each other is what mm -hmm. i'm seeing like is what like i'm sure you can see it too in the news how they stir everybody up in different yeah. groups the against whole tyson them. chicken thing yeah i didn't even get involved in that one yeah <laughs> was it like what they're printing it now or something i i heard or something like that printing the meat or oh no 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 oh uh, i missed it then they are um firing americans and hiring immigrants already wow yeah because they'll be paid a lower wage and you know man huh they raised that minimum wage and then the companies found a way around it i bet and that might and they be own, and they're owned by the c word mm. that that country and oh the one that ends in uba mm -hmm. really i'm surprised they can own much at all i didn't think they were doing Not that uba. fantastic uh you can say it just say it oh the aina one china yeah yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, too much of our food is done by that. Yeah, they're, and, and they're I, getting a hold I mean, of too much. We're the, we're that's one of the reasons. It's like we're going. I'm probably going to order more chickens. Let's just say that to grow out. Yeah. And I mean, they they, and it's one of the reasons why we're getting pigs. You know, and going to do our own sausage because they own quite a few companies that's under that same umbrella. Yeah. Under Tyson chicken. So, wow. Listen to this. Yes. Even I have to turn off these scanners some days, like the other night, Norfolk Southern had an alarm sent out to dispatch of a broken axle or the crazy EMS runs to, I don't, oh, overdoses. Mm -hmm. I couldn't figure out what OD. Four in one. Oh, gosh. Yeah. You don't need to hear that. No. Woman. Well, and that's true, too. Like, we need to pray for hey, Nancy B all the people on the scene mm -hmm. that get there first because right. they're seeing humanity at its worst so much and seeing accidents that are like seeing war. Like right. some of the stuff that I would hear from firefighters was like horrific. It was just, yeah, never want to lay my eyes right. on that. Yeah. You're in sick. Shawnee Shave, you're exactly right. Many are so full of themselves. They give no thought to their, Yep, fellow humans, only their own wants. Yep, agree, agree that that too. Yep. 
Yes. Wait, what did I miss, GT, that you're saying, huh? First, do no harm, and thinking of the next generations are two good things. Yeah, to practice. It's true. The civil revival. I don't know that term. I'll have to look that up. I've never heard that term. I haven't either. You got to... Shawnee's very well read. Hey, Nancy B, the scratcher. Oh, hey, you're from Miss T. Thank you for coming in. I appreciate it. Yep, there you go. Keep prepping, grow food, and learn skills because that's what's going to mm -hmm. get us those skills. Tyson's everything. That's right, growing oh, up. Oh, that's what was going. They've been bringing them in already. Tyson. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, they're literally firing American workers and and hiring illegals and changing legislation. Are they yeah. working to change legislation to make it, you know, happen? Yeah, that's awful. That's not good. And you know, they own they own like probably uh, eight different companies or more. Um, yeah. Well, isn't it Smithfield too? Is owned by them. Sara Lee yeah. Smithfield. Um, <gasps> Sara Lee. Uh, wow. Johnny. Johnny. Jimmy Dean. Um, wow. And and on and on. I mean, i look it up, guys. Um, <gasps> oh yeah, GT hadn't heard that. He's like me, huh? What? They're taking the jobs. Yep. That's, yeah. that's pretty much it. Wow. Okay. And, you know, they, they're like, well, Americans don't really want those jobs anyways. So I know they always say that. Such a mm -hmm. lie. There's people who are American who would do it. Just hire yeah. those blank spots, but don't fire people. That's right. That's horrible. Right. Wow. 1,700 out of a job and signing a contract to make, ew, bug protein food. Yuck. Gross. Yeah, I can't raise a pig here either. But yep, me too. I need to figure something out too. I'm with you, GT. GT, I, we're related somehow. I just don't know how. <laughs> yeah, he's it's a good so guy. funny. He is a good guy. But it's so funny because he and I will be like, you know what I've been thinking about? And we'll name the same plant. Oh, we haven't been talking to each other at all. Like, yeah. Like we get on the same kind of kicks, but he's so much more like, Oh, the seeds and the plants. He's above and in front of me. Civil revival may be the wrong. I'm oh, using that yeah. Word. Causing a divide amongst the people. So we go. Yes. Yes. I wonder exactly. if it's going to happen in the other plants. Um, you know, other than just the Tyson chick. I mean, in, in the, the, that food is grown horribly anyways. I mean, you, you go by here in our, in yeah. the, in the south there's a lot of you know not only do we in the south here uh, most of our corn mm -hmm. our field corn is grown for tyson yeah um, we almost bought a property that had corn on it that was um because they were they were leasing it but i didn't want it because it, it you know been sprayed all over the yeah place. been sprayed all over the place plus yeah. they might not like that you you know won't grow corn for them right you have to right. deal with that. Who knows what that involves? Yeah. There we go. Wow. Okay. Meat plants are a harsh environment and predatory abusive hiring practices still survive basically there. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Lovely. I'm just doing my peppermint stick thing. I'm going to heart like my allergies are starting to act up a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. It's not bad. Thankfully, it's raining outside and knocking them down. Yeah, I wish it would rain here. Mm. I'm going to have to water t tomorrow if it doesn't. Yeah, I know. That's the part I like about rain. Now, my though, my soil will be soggy from this almost full day. It was actually like half day of solid Florida rain. The beginning right. was like, oh, that's that's not too bad. It gets so muddy here. But Ew. when it yeah. rains the way it does, I yeah. mean, you know, t two days later, everything's just so happy. 
you know. I know. Yeah, I know. I love that. Seeing my plants after a good mm-hmm. rain, they're just like, ooh, that was lovely. I loved my shower. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's fantastic. Even today, seeing the little bunny out there in the interim of the storms was yeah. sweet. Like it was sweet. Until it eats my stuff, then I, I won't think it's so sweet. You couldn't pay me to eat ties. Yeah, I haven't touched their chicken in so long. Chicken farms see the trucks loaded. Oh. Well, and yeah. they do they blow it up with they blow it up with all kinds of salt water in yeah. the chicken. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can have some of mine too. Let me get to the big, you know, <laughs> right? And point it yeah. out. Here you go. My husband used to work in a chicken farm for egg layers. The employees all were on drugs and all oh, in the barns. The workers oh. they hired to clean the pits and do the kills were always illegals. So oh, maybe that's the job that Americans don't want. Right. The, kill- the killing and the cleaning. Yeah, that's like uh, Mike Rowe, who goes to those like dirty jobs. Mm-hmm. Like that sounds like something he would go in and do. Right. I don't know if he'd ever go into a place like that. Just it's too controversial. Yeah. They won't let him in, probably. Yeah. I mean, the the, the way that they they uh, butcher too is just mm-hmm. the practices are just. Yeah. Okay, things I don't I don't follow when you mean all the. It's a domino effect of Tyson is boycotted. All the suppliers will suffer. They're their own supplier. They they raise their own chickens and everything. I'm not really sure. Mm-hmm. And then now the bug stuff that those people are doing that they can you know they can have some of that effect and suffer a little bit. I don't want to eat bugs. Right. I don't, I don't want it also put in uh, for people who are dietary reasons or not to eat bugs like people who are kosher Mm -hmm. let me see what trish said we have a lot of issues around here where the immigrants are racist to everyone and get by with it if you speak out against it you get canned oh you get fired wow so they kind of gang up on people in the workplace yeah Oh, the farms that grow the feed. Yeah, but those farms, too, are usually spraying the heck out of their crops. Yeah. Like I, I'm all for supporting farmers, but support local farmers and uh, regenerative farmers. Um, that's a hard one because I just. It's it's hard because I, I live in a I, small community. Yeah, where I a lot feel for the farmer. Done. Yeah, I feel for them. Yeah. But... Oh, my. That's But gross. there is other things they can grow, too. Oh, that's horrible. Yuck. It says those chickens are already dead before they go to the butcher or they are half dead laying with their laying there with mucus coming out of their beaks. Ooh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That does it for me. We got to grow our food. That's right. Find a farm. Yeah, and then they they shock them if, if they're not dead before they slaughter them so that they don't feel it. But that just that just brings. Have you ever had a, a, a chicken where the blood is still kind of in underneath the wings and stuff like that? That's why, is because oh, it holds shot. onto the blood, and so you you can't get a kosher kill that way. Oh uh, yeah, that's interesting because Yossi was having a really hard time finding kosher meat, and he just went to fish, mm-hmm. pretty much fish and vegetables and bread for his diet because of that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Find a farmer who you you who they use to butcher and get meat in bulk. Yeah, cook at home, eat whole food. Yeah. Meat in bulk is very expensive. I went looking for cat like beef and I was mm-hmm. shocked like shocked at how much it would cost up front. But then again, it was a whole half of a cat. Right. There and is a lot of farmers that um will grow meat, you know, like I can buy pig, you know. Here in, in Oregon, or here in Oregon, here in Texas. Right. Oh, you can. Uh, yeah, you guys can have more access to it, right, GT? If you were, like, tam- tempted by Tyson or box chicken, you know, mm-hmm. uh, make your own at home. I was employed by Tyson for all of 10 minutes. At which I walked into the plant, turned around, and I walked back out. Oh, wow, it, yeah. Was that oppressive, huh? Just walking in the door, wow. I'd love to hear that story. Wow, yeah. 
folks that stick it out on the lines for years have rheumatoid yeah rheumatoid arthritis is a bonus many times it's a rough life exactly exactly hello there hey ami film channel i think that's in yours Good to meet you right. yeah okay nice of you to come in um that's what i want yeah, I would love to do that, the half a cow. But even butcher box seem to be pretty good, and they are taken from the smaller farms Yeah, a lot, a lot of times. But we have to look into that again. I've got to go through the numbers again now that some of them are changing. Like It, it is more expensive. Yeah. Unfortunately. Well, but. too, and we're getting fooled with, like, it says grass-fed beef, but Danny from Deep South brought up something important. He's like, those sa that same grass is what is also killing your gardens that they're spraying with graze on. Mm -hmm. So they're becoming like the machine. The, it's going into that cow. Cause it, yeah, you have to, you have to buy grass-fed organic. Yeah. 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 Which, who's up against Paul Logan? What did I miss? I'm an immigrant, but my parents had no choice but to do it the right way to get 12 children to this once great country. Yeah, a lot of immigrants who did it the right way are very angry with what's going on. Yeah. Um, that it wasn't like there's no sponsors involved. There's no, you know. Right. Uh, and sometimes there's no even good feelings towards America at all. Like they don't like us. They don't like it here, but they're coming here for a better life. It's like, Oh, well, that you know, like, there, there's, there's good people that are coming over. Yeah. But there are some. There's yeah. a lot of, a lot of um, people that are sneaking through and I'm an immigrant too, you know, yeah. and we, we paid a lot of money to come to this country and be sponsored. And we had to, we couldn't go on assistance, you know, yeah. for, for, I think it was like seven years or anything like that. We had a promise not to do this or do that or, you I know, if that will hold up now if it, you know, if that'll hold up with the immigrants, if they have to wait. A they don't amount. have to wait. They yeah. Don't. That's what I heard. They a lot of them waiting. come into the country and they get immediate assistance. Uh, or they I, I, I hope they limit it together. though. Like, they don't use it like I hope they limit it so these people know okay you have a certain amount of time to get a job and then right. this is going to be pulled back and you need to support yourself because that's what we do here like we try to put into society not mm -hmm. just take out and I think that's where people who have worked their whole life are having a hard time like where's that money coming from right uh is that money that, you know, me and my buddies worked for, for years, you know, doing whatever job it was. My husband went on tour, on a tour of the Tyson plant here. They put a button on him and told him, if this alarm goes off, you have eight seconds to get out of the building. <gasps> wow. What? what do they have? Is it just volatile from the, all the chicken poop? the gas is coming off of that that's weird that is raising your own animals and doing the work for yourself and others will rarely cause any issue except good things it's honorable yeah let's hope yeah. it's legal yep yep definitely see and that's you know that's the other thing too is like that's all you really wanted to teach in shed wars and just get people encourage them to become more self-sufficient and you know you two drama never ends it's just sad homestead Aquarius and and john i i just i don't know people need to get a life mm -hmm. and not be so self-centered um oh like oregon as then move there for doing those things did oh did oregon outline Wait, what's going on in Oregon? Gosh, I am so out. I don't of know what's going on in Oregon. All right, somebody needs to explain Oregon. Just sure, somebody... tell us. Yeah, it, I'm gonna drop the link if you know somebody wants to come up and explain to me what's going on with Oregon. I'm just out of it this week. I'm sorry, I had a lot going on. 
Oh, I, I can't keep up with the news anymore. I mean, I did catch that one, but I'll be right Here. back. Okay, here's the link. <laughs> no, that is not me. <laughs> if you're talking, are you talking about me? Are you talking about me? I don't get to watch any of those. I really don't. Days of Our Lives is like when I was much, much younger. But yeah, those. Yep. I remember those. That's so funny. But I didn't. Sunset Boulevard, I think, is recent, right? I haven't watched that. But Soap used to be that comedy show from like when I was way young, like a kid. Oh. <gasps> They just flat out banned it. See, I knew like what GT is doing is going to come in handy. GT Jr. that growing inside. And uh, I know too, the, my Renaissance grandma is big on that. The hydroponics on the inside. Look at what they did. They ban they just banned all farms and home gardens in Oregon. How can they ban? Like How it's our food. Somebody needs to get with Oregon and kick out all those people making those bad choices. That is just, I'm, I'm amazed I didn't hear about that. That's just evil. Yes, that's what I think most of us Americans know. And that's why they're stirring it up. Like we were talking about, they're getting us angry at this group of people and angrier and angrier. And it's like, then they're going to take the jobs of the American men and women. Mm-hmm. That's they're setting us up for another civil war is kind of what Sean yeah. was saying. But it's like we have to not play into it and we have to prepare for that scenario now. That's a really hard scenario to prepare for. I don't even wow. One thing at a time. One can at a time if you have to do it that way. That's that's good too. Yep, that was the whole purpose of Shed Wars, just like what Homestead Aquarius said. I still, wait, I just, it jumped on me. I was just going to yours. I can't believe they did that in Oregon. Yeah, it's, like, you know, you if we were looking at a homestead in Oregon so that we could keep. Oh, thank God you didn't. Our foster son, wow. yeah. It was passed in 21? What? Wow. So they're. They were sitting on that all this time. Look at what they were doing and hiding while they had us all locked up in our homes and mm -hmm. stuff, writing bills like that and then getting it through right before people hey, started. A little piece of heaven. Figuring out all groundwater, even wells. <gasps> all groundwater, even wells are now public domain. Cannot use it for any of it. Oh, my. Wow. wow. Is that in Oregon, too? Yeah, I think so. Wow. I am like, wow. I'm going to have to go and read up on that. Me too. I really, I really hope it's not like a a news story like they do with uh, 45. Because he'll say something, they'll cut it, and mm -hmm. it's not really the whole picture. I really hope that is actually the scenario now, that this is not true. Right. This is, oh, it's terrible. With Shed Wars, we wanted to add our efforts to those already preaching to the masses and to help more people believe in themselves and their ability to help themselves. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Yeah, he's an amazing person. Yep. Definitely. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, please don't keep keep voting. Yeah. For him. I don't even know if we all really did. Hey, little piece of heaven farm, it's good for you to come in. Uh, my little uh, vanilla is barely hanging on here. Oh, I'm glad you're still here, Aiden. Here, <laughs> yeah, on this country, yes, the big corporations, and there's other very, very wealthy families that hold shares in those corporations. Yeah, very powerful wealthy families. Mm-hmm. How is that a thing? I know, right? That's how I feel. Yeah. What? Like, how? That's how? not freedom. That's not freedom. This is America. Like, no, take that, you know, down to Cuba. Take it down yep. to Cuba. That's not supposed to be here. Article about this Oregon. 
My my husband calls Oregon the Communist okay. Repli- Republic of Oregon. Yeah, I know. It seems like that whole section. It's just crazy. Okay, here we go. We got some insider information. Okay, it's for market gardens and big farming. It's to help conserve water is what we understand. Yeah, that's what they're telling you. They're taking food. Mm-hmm. Control the food, control the people. That's just not... Oregon has so much water, there's no... Yeah, there's no... Mm-mm. Uh, yeah. Be corn fed. I mean, they sell water to California. Yeah. I, I'm in a... Used to be an Oregonian. Doing that. Oh, I see. Why RTN doing that anytime soon? These states are based. Yeah, they're agricultural based, but like we said, like there the corporations you, you and the powerful. Hey, corn fed life. Did I just see you? Yay. Hey, corn fed. I thought I ran this country. If you did, you better get to it because you're not doing such a good job. You got to got to have some meetings. <laughs> yep, that's right. Got to have some meetings with these states and get some. There you go, little, little piece of heaven. Cracking the whip. I used to have a nice big yeah. garden gonna, in Oregon. Yes, you did. I'm going to try and read up on it. I don't want to get like anybody else's. I'm going to have to ch- like check different articles. Right. But I do as, as what's her name? Do your own homework. Do your yeah, own research. Do, I'm going to do my homework and do my research. Right. Freedom isn't free. Yeah. <laughs> it's a dollar 99. Yeah. Because it's not the Dollar Tree anymore. It's the Dollar it's 25. $1. Tree. <laughs> and now it's also like $5 items because they're competing with Five Below. Mm-hmm. Which isn't even Five Below anymore. It's Five and Above. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't say that too loud. Yeah, right? We have AI watching us all the time. Don't say that too loud. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad too stuck to growing and that's what i mean what if that comes for all of us like what are we gonna do like what that's where it's like okay where's my peace place i need to like not fret because it's not here yet Mm -hmm. in my yard but what can i do pot like a positive step to preparing for that but not worrying about that to where it's just in there spinning yeah i hate I hate it when something gets in there like that and it's just like okay enough already yeah we've talked about this and god th- i gave this to you i don't know if i took it back i must have because it's still there can you just help me out so what what about what about all the people that are growing beautiful just flower gardens in, in yeah uh, yeah I, i'm surprised on the side chat i didn't hear that like oh i love growing flowers or i love like something outdoors since we have so many gardeners. Farms mm-hmm. and received a letter from the regional office of the Oregon Water Resources Department. It was a notification that the farm couldn't irrigate its commercial crops without a water right. Oh, so they're getting ready to charge them way more okay. probably for the use of their water. I was going to say, well, um, Garden Answers is in Oregon. And I know that oh. she has food and yeah. she's planted food. And she, I mean, talk about irrigation. She's using tons of water. Yeah. Because they make it sound like it's for the betterment of the people. GT. Mm-hmm. They fool them. Well, just like just like registering your <laughs> the five quarter store. Yeah. 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 Having some I, mm-hmm, I think we need to be careful scary. with that one for some reason. Yes. So I get to see. Oh, good for you. Oh, some tuna. Yeah, I, I figured it was tuna salad and not sal, whatever that word was. I read it as salad, actually. State officials say a typical application will likely take more than a year. But it's pre- oh, so what? So they're not going to have to wait a year before they can use any of that water? That's their crops are all going to die. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Or their fruit trees or whatever it is that they're growing. That's just nuts. Cream. What did I miss? Salad cream. Yeah. That, okay. 
yeah, it, it's got a thing. When we had the thing about mayo over on uh, J3GS, we were all talking about mayo, mayonnaise. Yeah. Maybe it was here. I don't know. It was anyway. We, uh, our I think Miracle Whip is similar to salad cream over in England. Oh, and okay. he couldn't. He couldn't find it here. Oh, hold on. I'll be right. So there. he's been settling for the Miracle Whip, which is ill. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> We've all had Miracle Whip, probably. If you've ever been to like a picnic, you can irrigate up to half acre. For a non-commercial garden. Okay. She can also capture rainwater for commercial uses. That won't require a permit. Oh, good. At least they aren't like doing something about the rainwater. Because there was a place in Florida that was having a problem with people um, collecting rainwater. But I think they were more concerned about the people like having filters and, and not getting ill. I don't know. Like, I have no idea. But it was a definite government overstep. Yeah, a lot are planning. Wow, while waiting and no income. They're, 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 oh, I know what that is. That's a move on their land. Duh. They're moving on their land. What, you know, they're driving them out to where they'll want to sell. That's sick. Sickening. So tired of the greed. CA had been smart. They would have harvested and stored all that water they had. Yeah, right. Oh, sour cream you like too? On a salad? Wow, it's different. I like sour cream on like a taco salad, but then I also put salsa. And I can't have that right now. The There's salad. sour cream and ranch dressing if you. Yeah. Break it homemade. Yeah, you can make homemade ranch dressing. The only thing is, is most of those packets are loaded with MSG. Yep, that's why I don't need them. Yeah, <laughs> can't eat them. This farm wants to get water irrigated. For My me. husband likes them though. Oh, that's a shame. What the ranch dressings? Mm -hmm. Yeah. My, I actually introduced my stepdaughter to ranch dressing and she was hooked on it from the way I made it for like years. She would bring it to her, like with her to work and everything, the Hidden Valley. Yeah. If CA had been smart, smart, they would have harvested and stored. Yeah. Oh, I got that one already. I'm like, I clipped the wrong one. No, I think she's possibly dealing with somebody who wanted to come see the place. To, for renting out mm -hmm. the place she said she was dealing with an email and maybe it became more like phone call and stuff which is fine like let Maureen get her hours I've got Laura here who's awesome you know <laughs> it's fine we, 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 I hope she's okay though like I'm really hoping nothing happened to our diva I'm sure we're here as well but we can't cap off and run spring water to our homes in Kentucky. That is screwed up. So screwed up. Most springs are replenished by rain. Yeah. Well, maybe you only get the rain that you save. You don't get the spring, you know, spring's rain. I don't know. It's weird. Um, Kelly just sends their water. Yeah. I guess that's where they do send it. Yeah. Salad cream is great, but I... Yeah, I... That's I had just olive oil and I have some organic lemon juice like in the bottle because of uh, canning because of mm -hmm. um, making jellies. And I had that salt and pepper, but my salt is really Jane's crazy mixed up salt. It's less sodium than regular salt and it's got herbs and stuff in it. Huh. Kind of reminds me of like if poultry seasoning and salt would get together. It's it's sort of like that. Like it's got no that better. herbaceous, but light. It goes good. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. On a homegrown tomato, it's so good. And on leftover turkey from Thanksgiving. So mm. good. It originated down here. Somebody, I think it was their business. Yes, they want to install nationwide electric power lines from the south and to the north and east. And west. So they, oh, huh. That's lovely. So they need the land for that. Is are these power lines going under or above ground? Will it grow? Because that's what throws me. Like, 
they need to have them underground here and i still see they just put up new cement poles nearby yep. and i'm like uh we're a hurricane state can anybody figure out how to put it underground please yeah okay above us all lovely yeah sounds like you know they're doing all that just sounds a little weird yeah it does i have at least three springs here nice very yeah and that's good but he can't use them so like what do you do with that you can harvest some of the spring water though by like jugs maybe are you allowed to do that and filter it for drinking all right illinois and florida passed legislation protecting citizens right to guard and on their property yeah that's good that's why i keep look like every time i look outside of florida i don't feel peace even though you know the price is good hey little fish in the kitchen hello How are you? good to see you nice to meet you little fish in the kitchen did you ever catch my one live where i found out that those beautiful dishes that we both like the old pyrex has lead I've only found it from one lady, one source so far who has like a meter, but it's really high, especially in the bright colors. Really? Yeah. Because I have um, the primary color bowls and some other things from old Pyrex. I actually have two big yellow bowls from the primary mm -hmm. set because my mom used to have that bowl and a lady sold a bunch of Pyrex kind of cheap. Mm -hmm. and I saw that bowl, which was my mom's that she would use for cookies and all yeah. these things. And I was like, I've got to go get that. It, Just feeding you all that kind of lead. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. It's kind of not nice. nice. <laughs> and that's like her, the look of her channel has those pretty Pyrex dishes. And I'm always like, oh, I like, like, love seeing you using your Pyrex. Mm -hmm. And didn't know anything about that. Poles are so ugly. We can use the spring water just can't run into our homes as a source okay water they can't regulate. yeah that's true they can't regulate it oh it's okay i appreciate you stopping in i know i need to come over and visit you too but yeah i was like oh no a little fish that's like our thing just got that mm -hmm. pyrex but people who are collectors of course and who sell pyrex are kind of ticks at this woman and have kind of attacked her and everything who came out mm -hmm. with that. like the whistleblower who came out with that information that's not good no it's not because a lot of the older pyrex is more stable than the newer pyrex it's a different glass mm -hmm. so that's why the collectors a lot of them would get the older ones because they were just more reliable to be around and not just suddenly crack on you yeah yeah i know i've got to look into it more i know it's that paint on the outside like what are you gonna do wear gloves during your youtube like thing <laughs> like seriously yeah i know what a little fish in the kitchen because i know you use your pyrx like regular like on the regular maybe for us you know if if you find a cheap lead test just you know could you take one and just let us know what your lead levels are like so we could prove it yeah, through, there you go. prove it through a person <laughs> about how much we're really you know absorbing they do have test kits um it's a q-tip and it changes color basically and uh then this lady actually has a machine that checks it <gasps> david corey david, hey, corey, david with corey welcome in david corey glad to see you love his yard so nice mm -hmm. he's got that back to eden going really strong yeah marie's on the on the phone or she's she might be getting somebody to rent her place that she's been trying to rent south florida <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah and this of hedgehogs homestead laura she's been on before i think when you've been in here i think so oh goodness yes i know sometimes that happens with me a little piece of heaven i just the, she had to go get her the get on the computer because yeah. kind of too small 
yeah. it is too small. You can barely see what people's reactions are. And yeah. And also tight, like trying to type in the side chat, like with your, it's like, I'm usually a finger. Yeah. I heard you saying that thing about the thumbs and I'm like, my yeah. thumbs are not arthritic. So I, I can do it with the thumbs a little mm -hmm. bit, but it, it's like they're wiry and because of my nervous system stuff, mm -hmm. they do their own thing. Sometimes it's really weird when I'm trying to do that. So yeah, I'm like a finger, one finger. <laughs> oh, that's good. Well, I don't want you to be poisoned. I just was wondering if you had lead levels. I'm just trying to figure out what the heck is going on because I just had gotten them and then I found out. Yeah. Wait a minute. She come in? Did I miss something? So Bless is here? Where? I missed her. Can't see you. There's God's desire for me. I'm... Okay. Yes, I see. Test kits with a Q tip. It turns a certain color. Yeah. Yes, it's usually the decoration part. It's usually the paint colors that they put on them. Exactly. Mm. Is what contains the lead. So they'll keep the color. And They're keep so the pretty. Color. Yeah. yeah, they are so pretty. So it's like, okay, how do you, like with the bowl, the whole thing is painted. Mm -hmm. You know, that big yellow bowl. And then it's even more so supposedly in like those primary colors, any bright color. Mm. Yeah. Uh, the Makes lead helps. Yeah. It, so yeah, that was awful. And her thing is not the Q-tip test. She has the machine that they actually use for lead testing. Um in like government organizations mm -hmm. and it's super expensive i forget how she said that she came upon it it might have been somebody who was following her blog mm. uh, because she is it lead free mama it's something like that and she tests mm. stuff for people all the time who will send it in she'll test no. it and she That's posts cool. she'll post a lot of stuff like what they tested at and everything and um so you don't have to like if Me she too. already did a pyrex bowl you know you don't have to do it again i hope maria is i know me too and i hope we're getting some good news i agree mm -hmm. we're not used to having that little rectangle quiet mm -hmm. seems weird <laughs> but we're missing yeah, the I, ding dang i know <laughs> Totally. All right. Thank you, Trish. Appreciate it. I've missed you too, but I bet you're so busy. Much love. Yeah. Um, oh, I love you, honey. Sweet dreams. I, th I thought you were typing like a, a word. I'm like, something that's not spelled right. <laughs> <laughs> GN. Good night, Trish. My take. Yes, attend. Yes, thank you for that, Shawnee. I was just going to go back to that. Yes. And I feel peace, and this is going to sound silly, but when I have just like completely cleaned up a whole room, like our main room, and I know it's clean for a second, and I sit down in that and just have like a cup of tea yeah. or whatever, it's like, ah. Oh. It's like that just total release of pressure. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, there's one room that's clean. <laughs> and now I got, I don't, I'm not going to think about the others, but mm -hmm. just enjoy this spot right now. I'm that way when things yeah. are cleaned up and the kitchen, kitchen sink is empty and, you yeah. know, there's less clutter around. Like, I don't yeah. really like. Oh, I've set my house is so cluttered right now. I find myself on the computer and lives wanting to straighten out my my area here. Yeah. You know? That I know that I could do that in here, but I would look ridiculous and I don't mm -hmm. really feel like having my you know bum right. <laughs> bending. I'd be doing a lot of bending over and picking things up and stuff and going through them like the big boxes and stuff. Yes, yeah, Shawnee that moment when the sink is empty exactly especially for a family of five yep mm -hmm. I know. yep that is a good feeling 
Yeah. I know, I know, um, what was it? The fly lady always said that, like to try and, and um, have your sink empty for yourself in the morning, even if you get one of those, like a little, they used to have them for doing dishes, like a little square thing mm -hmm. and put your dishes in there that are in the sink that you've wiped off and yeah. stick them under your sink. So when you come in the morning, it's clean and you start mm -hmm. the day with that rather that look rather than it's all cluttered again. And then right. of course you can empty and do all that again. I can't, I, I want to get rid of our, our, yes. My, my mother-in-law loves to do dishes by hand. Mm. And so she always has that rack up there and it just, I don't like it. It just drives mm. me nuts. It's just another thing on the counter that makes things look cluttered to me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, could, oh, well, no, you guys aren't, it's not set up that way. I was going to say they have those ones that sometimes I think like maybe a folding one that you guys could make mm -hmm. for when it's, but then it's probably not ever empty. Hey, Brutal no, Bob, it's not. welcome in. Welcome hey, in. Brutal Bob. Good to see you. How's your oh. wife doing? I feel peace at night when everyone is in bed. <laughs> Duncan. I'm feeling a little peace. Everybody's asleep. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yep. Yep. I know. That's crazy. I get that too. I mean, I feel a little peace as soon as I lay that little man down for bed and it's like, ah. Oh, I know. I know oh. that feeling. I'd be that. like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't breathe. And you didn't want to go to bed right away, you know, you, because it's like, no, I just need some time where it's just me. <laughs> right. Exactly. That's what pretty much I said to hubby. Like, I have to have these times I'm stuck at home. Oh, oh I'm sorry. sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, She's just, hurting. Just heal her bones. Yes, God. And just please. bring her peace, Lord. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, definitely quick. We need a quicker healing for her. Mm-hmm. I'm so sorry, Brittle Bob. That's hard to see somebody you love in pain. That's hard. Yeah. And give Bob extra strength. Mm -hmm. Hey, Lynette Lawrence. Welcome in. Hey. Uh, your channel or Divas? Uh, uh, mine. Okay. Just want to say. Welcome in, welcome in. Oh, I love these new pop-ups that pop down and knock the live out of the way when you're going over to somebody's. Yeah. Page. That's a new one. Uh, lovely. Yeah, I don't like it at all. It happens to me all the time. Oh, hey, Lynette. Oh, she's got some water bath canning. Girl, you're in the right place. Oh, she got eight subscribers. Oh, Isn't sweet. That? Yeah, might be it. Those are oh, you those are your playlists. But yeah, you're in the right place. We're a bunch of gardeners and canners, and mm -hmm. Laura's Laura's got her larger homestead. Marine's got her suburban. I have tropical. Welcome in. Welcome in. Nice to meet you. And if y'all haven't checked out Little Fish in the Kitchen, you should. She's always got some really great recipes. A little fish. I forgot your name. Could you help me with it, please? My brain is just poof. It it's a little bit um, messy in there tonight. I'm trying <laughs> to clear it out. That's why I'm asking for. Hey, what do you guys do when you need a little peace? I need extra yeah. ideas. Yeah, I turn well, on worship music and mm. just kind of almost meditate and just you know focus on that. Yeah. Yeah. That does help me. It's really interesting. I've noticed as I'm older, uh, and I, I, I mean like when I was even singing back at church, the mm -hmm. amount of warfare, like you could come right out of worship and it's like, boom, you get something's going on. Yeah. Or you're going to worship practice and something's going on. There's yep. some kind of you know, something breaking loose and has to happen right that minute. It's just that tells you how powerful it is. Yeah. Of yeah the I was going to say, it's like, well, you're literally going into war. 
<laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. Brave the March Madness crowd of Twin Peaks to get her fish. And that's all. That was sweet. Oh, yeah. That's so hard. You're doing yeah, good, sorry. Brutal Bob, getting her, her, her favorite fish and salad today and braving that crowd. Yikes. They ain't trust me with the babies. Oh, yeah. They do tend to trust you, Storms, because you're so gentle. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Marcel. Like, I don't know why that happens to me when you come in. It's like, I know your name. And then, but when you come in my live, it's like, no, it, it went somewhere. I don't know where it is. I want to like, <laughs> I'm gonna actually put it on my phone this it's time. It's called I'll menopause. Yeah, dang menopause. Or also known as men take pause. Yes, men take pause. Do not come <laughs> near at certain. Do not poke at too much. Do not poke the bear. That's right. It's, that's what probably should be called, like your bear season. I don't know, yeah. something like that. Hi, Beth. Oh, hey, Beth. Welcome in. Nice to meet you. Sure? Our artsy, craftsy girl. Yeah. Let me... It's not, oh, I always hate that I have to go up and like hit free form on my iPhone. Mm. When I'm trying to just edit a picture or anything like that. Yeah. But yeah, Marcel has some really delicious recipes and she's really like, it's really gotten like a beautiful layout the way that you, you know, take you your shots and stuff. Yeah, she's doing really well. Good. I can see why Jess's next channel was a cooking channel too, like Roots and Refuge. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good to see you. We're doing okay. We're 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 talking about our places of peace. And probably for you, it's probably doing some crafting and creating those great books that you do. I was saying it used to be painting for me, both um oh no, it's not a weird name, it's a pretty name. Yeah. I is. knew a Marcel. That's what's so it drives me cucamonga. I knew a Marcel. Actually, no, Marcella. I knew a Marcella, but still. It's just not, it's not an everyday name. Yeah, every it's a name. Special it's name. name. It's a special yeah. name. It's not weird. It's special. Hello, um, Steph. Welcome in. I feel closest to God in my, yeah. Oh, Steph, it's good to see you. It's Stephanie Joe Roundtree. <laughs> yeah, he does. He sure does. Yep. Hey, Steph, yeah. have you gotten any rain lately? Oh, wow, Beth, congratulations. I'm about around that, too. So, yeah, if you're not subscribed to the people in this chat, please do. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, this is my live. I'm, uh, oh, my gosh, I just forgot who I was for a second. That's bad. I am Carol, um, Sun, South Florida Sunshine. I do a live every Friday uh 11 30 p.m and then friday i do a fibro friday and that is at 2 30 p.m eastern both are eastern and the fibro friday is basically for people who deal with maybe chronic pain or chronic diseases and we're just trying to find ways to get through uh, i have fibromyalgia i have chronic fatigue uh, syndrome i've been diagnosed i've been you know dealing with it for over 10 years and it's just a welcoming place and it's a place to bounce ideas off of. And today we were, you know, just chatting about eliminating things from our diet that shouldn't be in the diet uh, if you have inflammation. And if you have uh, been eating the sad diet or sad American diet, mm -hmm. it's also a way to cleanse your system of all the possible yeasts and bacteria that have built up because of those non-foods. Just got another one, Beth. I'll go, I'll go back. I'm going to keep your page open and watch later. But uh, let me see. Oh, we're glad though you're here. We, you know, we're glad you're listening. Thanks. God's desire for yeah. me. And I think Casey's 55 said that. Sorry, I'm in and out. Hey, doing a few chores. I don't know if she sounds that way. Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. I gave that. Okay, home side with you. I am most at peace when I am. Oh, I wish I was. Yeah. Yeah. Guess what? Guess all that. Okay, somebody help. Help. Help Miss Beth. 
Help me too. Help That's us to know. Help. Get help me now. Help me now, mm-hmm. Lord Jesus. I just need to get to a thousand and make those big bucks. Nope. Those big not bucks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like what are they what is it called? I forget. We uh sign up for it and what is it called again? Oh, add sense. That's what my daughter mm-hmm. said. Yeah, because you make sense. <laughs> you make yep. just a few cents. Make a few uh, cents. Oh, let's see. Wait a minute. And That's even when you have, that. you know, it's like I had a video, um, 11, 11,000 views and it got $15, you know, it's like, wow, but still that's 15 bucks you wouldn't yeah. have, had, but still it took 11, I'll take it, but you know, it's kind of like, wow, that's it. <laughs> okay. There's the reality check for us creators. Whoa. Yeah. 11,000. Wow. That's shocking. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard. If it, that's the thing. A little fish in the kitchen. Like it's hard with, you know, when you have children. Hey, and you got all those activities going on. I know it's hard to do the YouTube stuff. Yeah. You're super close, but that's awesome. You deserve it. So sweet yeah. to go in there. And, you know, that's a place too of kind of just peace. Like she's just creating and you can follow along and create too and do mm-hmm. your own creation with her. Oh, sweet, Duncan. Wonderful. Yeah. My owner has chronic pain in the butt. That's basically him. Me. Me. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Well, I heard those trigger points, you know, if you just give them a little like massaging and stuff that they yeah. they settle down, they settle down. <laughs> oh, I love to throw clay. Yeah, I haven't seen you do that. I want to see you do that. There is definitely peace when I used to throw. Definitely. Yeah, there you go. That will help with your glue. <laughs> All your, all your glue for your books. Bob. Good to see Bobby, you. Bob. Bobby. Okay, you're here. Are you sure you're really here? Or over <laughs> you, are you over there? He's over here. I think. Yeah, your lives are your best ones. Yeah. So would love to see you throw live. That would be cool. There's actually an Eng- I think he's English. Is he English? He might not be. Anyway, he's he's a pottery channel. I just watch him and he's so relaxing to watch like throw. And and his he must have some sort of OCD because just even the way he's so methodical how he lines up his work and now they yeah. are perfect. Like wow. He's a premium top of the line potter. <laughs> Here but I still can't find my shoes. Oh, Bob, I understand. It's okay. I totally get it. I can, I'm can. i so glad for the Apple Watch that I got after the phone because my Apple Watch can find my phone for me. Oh, I, I know. I use I, it all the time. I use, that I, I use it and my husband and my <laughs> mother-in-law just start laughing because they know what I'm doing. Because they can hear the ding, ding, ding. ding. You know? <laughs> it's like, gosh, it's phone again. I couldn't find it tonight. Usually it's so loud. And I was like, where the heck is my phone? I can hear it, but where is it? Oh, it was or if it gets stuck in the furniture or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I'm, that's why it's so loud for mm-hmm. people who are near it when we set it off. It's pretty darn loud. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I that's that piece too. It's sometimes watching people create and, you know, even creating along with them that 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 settles me down a bit that's for sure yeah yeah <laughs> sean he's too cute She's i like watching in. those those homesteading videos you any of you guys do it where they're like in the ukraine or somewhere oh yes in another country and yes. they just they're not Something well, they just a, a tiny bit in their language but they don't it's not narrated or anything like that it's the asm is it the asmr one that you're talking about that it's in something pakistan or whatever the older couple there's and a like, few of them now yeah yeah i think the country they're just like, baking mm-hmm. or cooking oh yeah those and two. they always cook way too much food <laughs> yeah for the two of them yep yeah yeah i like those two 
I agree. I think those are the somewhat uh, produced some of them yes. like, professionally. Yes. And that's sure. what, that was what somebody was saying. Like um, creators have to realize too, that they're up against the professionals that are on that platform too. So right. like not to feel down on yourself or anything because it's just such a high level that they're bringing to YouTube. Some of these channels, like, right. yeah, of course they're going to get those views and we're going to maybe get those views when we kind of do similar or when we know, can God. hire a professional staff. <laughs> yeah. When we get to that point where we can hire people. I too. mean, and there's, there's people literally that, you know, work for these people that have worked out. <laughs> Stephanie's laughing at us. How do you not know where your phone is? Because sometimes <laughs> you walk out of the room and you leave it there and you don't realize till like three rooms later, you know. It's called it's called menopause, Steph. It's called menopause. Cute. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Homestead Aquarius is asking you, Beth, does the glue help stick help folks stick around? Dad joke. Dad joke has been dropped. Mm hmm. I think it's funny because they. Uh, oh, cute. No, but it helps that she answered them. I missed it. No home, but it helps to entertain everybody. Yep. yep. Yeah, so does Shawnee. Yep, me too. Right? I love to see them use the, um, is it the scythe? The scythe when some of them are using that, like in other countries, that's so relaxing to see. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm trying to think of Jim Kowalski. Is that how you say it? Cow? It's not Kawasaki, it, but it's like one of those last names. Uh, he uses that. He, he uses that up in Maine on the Maine property. He's the one who he grows down here in Florida half the year, and then he goes up to a main farm and helps there with somebody he knows oh. and does and and does market gardening both places he's a market oh, gardener. okay that's cool Cow is, is it in canada that he goes up to no no he goes to maine goes to maine oh to maine okay it's close close, close enough close. yeah <laughs> keep buying glue oh my let me see. No, they're cooking for their extended family. Yeah, uh, they're just cooking for their extended family of 20. That's all. That's yeah, all. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I, I love it how they always have like a, a they make uh, tea and they always have that extra cup sitting out. So you know that this is for the cameraman or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, it should be maxi pause because you have so much stuff coming at you. It's like totally maxed out. <laughs> Yeah. Say that again, what you just said. My brain went off into the distance. Where, where they have like a cup of tea or something like that for like the the cameraman. Oh, and yeah. It's, it's, so they always have three cups of tea. And it's like, <laughs> what's that other tea for? Or that other plate for? You yeah. Know? <laughs> the cameraman. Cameraman can. Yeah. I like how they, I mean, I'm sure it's appealing to men too, because it's like fire, everything's fire. Uh, yeah. Let me ahead of time so I can. Okay. They're talking. Let me see. Men will pause to help you look for your phone or even call it for you. But <laughs> y'all need to try to do better. Every chance you get, we do try to do better. What? You well, you know, perfect. when you film with your camera or your phone, yeah, or you know, you just put. I see. I don't. I, I'm not, and not on my phone a whole lot, actually, to be honest with you. Unless yeah. I'm watching a live, I'm not in the news. I'm not. Yeah, doing all that stuff. I'm just either filming with it or, or you know, all. <laughs> I'll film something in the garden and leave it on the on the camera on the tripod outside. <laughs> oh, yeah, I that I would do. I would totally do that because because I left it out there because the dogs ran after the guy who's delivering gas for my husband. Oh. You know, <laughs> like, and then you get yeah. to you get this big distraction. It's like now where where did that? <laughs> where is that phone? Where is that? Yeah, where's my expensive camera? That I, what did I do? 
Yeah. What did I shoot last? <laughs> what did I shoot? Where was I shooting? Shoot swimming. Yep. Yeah, Azer. I can't say it. Ba Bajan, Azerbaijan, Bajan. Did I say it right? I don't know. Yeah, Azerbaijan. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's the place. That's the place that they have this cute little cottage, Stephanie. Mm -hmm. And then they'll show like a, a little uh, B roll of a, a bunny rabbit and a dog kind of playing with each yeah. other. You know, and they always have puppies. Yeah, puppies. Perfectly green grass, mm -hmm. like perfect. Yeah, there, there's no editing there. Yes, yeah, the quiet people. Exactly. The, yes, it's all the, the perfect garden. Yeah, you it's know, all like, the perfect produce that they. Yeah, they the perfect to. produce like, that you know came from the store. There's no. Yeah, way yeah, the store. strawberries definitely looked like they came from the store that one time. Yeah. They were all perfectly red, all about the same size. Like you no. Know, yeah, something. and the flowers all around, and you know, and then everything is like set out like a cooking show oh. you know like in in little bowls and you know yeah. little pinchy hairs and boy yeah. and they use a lot of salt <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah oh well i saw something like the hungarian man on that one camping they were camping outdoors and basically trying out this tent on their channel but they they kind of had some asmr going on and then you were you know just watching them how they were camping and using their little stove and making a meal. It was kind of the same idea. Like it was a quiet one, but uh, they're eating stew. And all of a sudden he just peels an uh, a onion, like an apple and bites it. Yeah. I think I've his, seen that one. With his stew. And I'm yeah. like, okay, our sweet onions are pretty sweet, but I don't think I've ever done that. <laughs> yeah. See, if a person in the video is having a cup of tea, uh, that is absolutely right that the cameraman should have one too. Absolutely. That is proper etiquette. Yes. Mm -hmm. As the Englishman. Yes. 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 We just wondered like it was a, a floating cup or like who, whose cup is that in this shot? That wasn't there before. Where'd that come right. from? Sometimes that happens. <laughs> of course he should get tea. He should get like sweets and treats because he's filming you. Hey, living my best life at 60. Oh, hey, good to see you. How are you? I hate yeah, I, that, I guess that's one of those things that you can go do and just kind of peace out. And just, like, I, I put yeah. it on and my mother-in-law, like if I go to change wow. it, because I want to learn something, <laughs> you know, she'll yeah. be like, hey, hey, I was watching that. <laughs> oh, oh, my. Okay. She's like, this kind of homesteading I can do. Oh, yeah, because except for the one we were watching a different one. There's a newer one. Mm -hmm. And they were cooking outside. Yeah. I don't know why they're always cooking outside, but yes. they were cooking outside. They can never go in that cute little house that they have and cook, ever. Yeah. Yeah, ever. And and uh, there was flies all around. And then she was like, oh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that that was it for her. The, yeah, the reality her. of actual farm life, cooking outside. Mm -hmm. Like, nope. Yeah, yeah. Stephanie still loves them. Which with the people from there, yeah, I love them. I think they're great. Even you yeah, know, even too. if it is produced, and even they'll have those ones that are out in uh, the country, and yeah, it's great. Like to see that in uh, like China or I don't know if it's Japan. But mm -hmm. just the Asian countries and seeing how they're farming. Yeah. yeah I like that too. And I hate it. This is funny. He says, I hate cell phones. I accidentally dropped two in the lake when my lieutenant called me on my days off. <gasps> Sounds like <laughs> something my son would have done when he was in the army. Yeah. Yeah. Right? I know. I wish sometimes my husband would do that with his. Like, oops. I cook and my hubby eats. I know. I saw that Duncan. She was one of 10. So she still has a hard time. She cooks a lot of food. She cooks a lot yeah. of food. There's 10 different places to cook. Oh, in the videos. Yeah. I usually, it's usually like the picnic table. Oh yeah. She's got all these other outside. I think um, like off grid cooking. Mm -hmm. situations that she uses you really could kind of get some good ideas but you got to yeah, do some building you could 
Do you eat it like that? I will eat it slice. I've just never seen anybody eat it like a apple like that. I haven't either. I, I, like just, I like it in I like red onions and like salad and stuff like that. Oh, I love onions. I'll eat I, I have no problem with any onion. I love onions, but yeah. just not maybe like an apple. Unless it was a Vidalia. I don't know if I'm saying that right. But Vidalia. the sweet Vidalia. Yeah. Vidalia. Walla Wallas are really, really sweet. Yeah, and the Walla Wallas, those are good. Try and get them organic, of course, because anything that's grown in down in the ground absorbs everything they put yeah. on the ground and you can't wash it off. Uh, let me see where I'm at. I think I, I got lost a little bit. I got but, some Walla Wallas in the ground. Right? I think, I know. I think she forgot to come back to the live, maybe. She yeah. might have just passed out. She's a busy lady. Yeah, She's she a is. busy lady. It's a bit of an irony for the police to lose anything in a boating accident. Yeah, it is kind of an irony for them to lose that because that's what people say. Like, oh, you know, oh, those those pew pews. Oh, no, no. There was a boating accident. They all fell overboard. I know. Very, nope, I don't have that. Yep. <laughs> we layer with it. Oh, wow. Yeah, well, that's wow. kind of like, I've done that where it's it's a wedge. I've done that same thing, Barry. But I always like do uh, a little, I like to just dip it in a little bit of sea salt. Oh, okay. Stephanie. Bye, you know? Steph. Bye. Have a good one. Thank you for coming in. Appreciate it. It is the only one, but. Yeah. Are you okay? Because it's almost. Uh, I had a nap. Ooh, you're up and ready to go. Talk to me tomorrow? No. <laughs> no, I know, right? That's me too. In the morning. Talk to me in the morning. My yeah. dad will eat onions, garlic, and horseradish raw. Wow. Just like a rabbit with ruined taste buds. He's scary. <laughs> that is scary. That is scary. My dad could do like the salsa and he could eat onions for, you know, he, he loved the onions, but I never saw him bite right into one. Yeah, that is an interesting one too, Bob. Yes, I like yeah. that too, Bob. I, I like yeah. the the Asian ladies who do like the room makeover and they build everything into the room. Like you see them making mm -hmm. the stuff. I, it's amazing. Or or they are the they're making all kinds of stuff out of bamboo. Oh, you're not leaving? Oh, you're just noticing the time. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Stephanie. Yeah, we are total night owls here. That's yeah. I've I've ended at three on my side before and maybe even a little bit later when we've got going and we've had like a whole panel just chit chatting. Yeah. Storms the first time I had worked 39 days in a row, 14 hours each day. Ooh, I told my lieutenant I needed a couple days to recharge my batteries. As soon as I got home and on the boat, he called. Oops. Yeah, I don't blame you. Nope. Putting in all those days in a row for 14 hours. Yeah. You need some My time. My husband off. works 14 hour days. Yeah. Mine's about 12 still. It takes a lot out of them. It's mm -hmm. sad. I'm so glad Mine you're goes to bed at like seven. Yeah. And, you know, he's up at three in the morning. So, yeah. Mine's up <clears> at 4 30 and goes to bed at 8 30. Yeah. Even tonight, like, because we were washing everything, I was trying to find stuff I already had. For the bedding so we wouldn't have to wait on all of malachi's bedding mm -hmm. and it's a good thing because like he put it through the wash once and the, i was like it didn't look clean it still had little poopy mm -hmm. so it i've went had it go through the wash and it still stinks and it's yeah. like what do you do like throw it out i don't want to throw out the bedding yeah like oh but so yeah, I put it through once. So once I'm done here, I'm gonna put it in the dryer. I've 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 just bleached the heck out of it. <laughs> yeah, it's, I I'm from now on getting him white stuff for his bedding. Absolutely, yeah. definitely. My sister used to sit in her high chair and eat whole onions. Oh wow, wow, that's wild. Yeah, it's just some people have a taste for them. I like mm -hmm. them. I, we used to, of course, I forget what we would have as a side. We would have, I mean, I forget what we would have as the main, but it would be um, maybe steak with steak. And then we, the family liked uh, Dofer's macaroni and cheese at the time. Mm -hmm. 
and then we did have that and spinach, but then there would always be chopped uh, raw onion. So you could put it on like your mac and cheese if you wanted, but, or just to cut yeah. through some of that fat yeah. or, yeah. you know, just something fresh. Do you guys like those? Have you ever seen those where they make like mud houses and mud like yeah, out of like a little like I have this tool. I'm gonna make you know, a it's house so small. Mud. Yes. <laughs> and they just dig out. At the, are you talking about like the ones that they go yeah, down? Where they dig it out <laughs> and they create pools and stuff yeah. in there. Yeah, it's like amazing. I'm and like, I'm I wonder if thinking. I could do that here with my clay. <laughs> oh my gosh, that would be hilarious. That would be so funny. I know. <laughs> like, oh, you know what? That could be the beginning of one of those sunken in greenhouses, though. Hey. Yeah. Uh, I think, mm -hmm. But, you know, any of this, my back's killing me. Yeah. You would have to, like, use some kind of tool on your. Our, well, your we do. My brother in law has a backo and he lives next door, basically. Oh, yes. <laughs> there go. I love those shows. Uh, I was, I was actually gonna ask him if I could, if we could use it this yeah. weekend because I want to go get some soil out of the forest. Yeah. Instead of, I was like, I was, I found free wood chips. I don't know if you guys saw that video, but I found free wood chips, and um, I was so excited about. It. I'm like, wait a minute. Then I'm watching this English gardener, right? And he Sweet goes, dreams, and, Marcel. Thanks for coming in. Bye. I'll pop um, over and see you soon. They're getting uh, soil from the forest floor that has all that broken down leaves and wood. Yeah. And I got tons of that stuff. I should yeah. just go get it. Yes. And it is it amazing to watch like what they use in other countries. To but, see, I did that in my other garden beds yeah. at, the, at the rental. They usually make I'm like, duh, why didn't I, duh. Yeah, duh, yeah, free soil, yeah. basically. Yeah. And Stephanie says she likes that too. She goes, oh, I love those shows where the Asian young person gets willed to grandma's place and they totally redo the house. Yes, I love those yeah. too. I love those too. Or the guy is like, they say the place is deserted and he redoes the place. Yeah. And they're yeah. building everything for it and it looks amazing. I think that was the one that was the bamboo where he was building a lot with the bamboo. Yeah, that's cool. It is very cool. I definitely- I've been kind of into these like abandoned homes kind of things lately. How like, do they, what in the world? There's so many of them. There's I'm so shocked. many in like Europe. A lot in Europe. I mean, they yeah. have them here in, in the States too, but. Oh, yeah, used your woods for soil, right? Very well this mm -hmm. year, maybe. Yeah. Oh, welcome back. We still haven't got Maureen back, though, GT. Could you see if you could find her? Yeah. Maybe the, you know, the watch works. Like, Maureen, beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Where are you? Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> I hope she's getting somebody to rent that place. That would be wonderful. What is she? Oh, cool. I hope so, too. That's what she said. The email came in right when we were she yeah. got a message of a possible person. So maybe that's what she's doing. She's give, giving them a look tonight. I don't know. Yeah. The mansions. Let's go back to that. The mansions that are abandoned. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really weird. There's so many. And like you said, there's a lot in Europe. Yeah. Um, in which, France. Yeah. And it's like, what happened to these people? Did they just get very old and they didn't have children? Well, I think, or did I think they a lot of it is inheritance tax. Oh. They, what happens to a lot of them in Europe is that they have this huge inheritance tax. Oh. And then the, the family can't afford to pay it. and Or they fight over the property. This is another thing. They fight over the property. And yeah. then the government seizes and closes the house and nobody can take anything from it until it's settled. Yes. That's yeah. Well, that's too. like probate, something going into probate that's being contested over because there's no will or whatever. Oh, it's this. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. Guide to the woods. woods. We don't so call I need to go into the woods. Okay. The woods. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
Yes, it's, it is like learning a foreign language, the language it of is. hillbilly. Yep. Well, and you can't say the north side of the oh. property here. You have to say down in the holler. Oh, have Two a good points. night, I hope, Brutal Bob. I really oh, hope she heals well. I'm so sorry. You guys are going through that. Be in my prayers tonight for sure. Yep. God bless you too. I'll write you down so I, I say those prayers. I know. That's why you'll usually, I'm not showing off. I'm praying right on the spot so I don't forget. Yep. Yeah, that's just so hard. And I think of that too, menopause is when you, uh, you get osteoporosis. Like if you're going to get it, that's when it right. starts. That's when it starts. And they were, they just had a study and it was years and years and years long. And I'm really curious as to what supplements they used because they were saying the supplements were ineffective even for D. Calcium was ineffective and the D was ineffective. And I'm like, yeah, but you're not, what D? Whose brand? Like what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like how much? So it was very vague what I got right off the tip of it. I'll have to go back and look for the study. But they were saying it was a very, very long study and that we don't absorb it through supplementation. So that means even more. Like we need our sun and they spray things up there to deflect it and do weird stuff. <laughs> yes, I do. Yes. Small patch of woods next to me. You need to learn uh, the southern language. I don't even have a pink test of my family. Any other language oh. down there. <laughs> Oh, that's sad. Yeah. The family right next to him is contesting over a half an acre. Wow. wow. That's tough life. <laughs> that's so cute. Hey, that's you know what one one thing I did learn real quick when you're uh when you're when you first get here is um you sweetheart, you know. Oh bless your heart. Oh, she's you denied to Bob. Yes, yes sweetheart and she's not going she was just Bless saying your oh, heart you know and and some and it's all in the inflection and yes, how you say it exactly it, bless your heart oh bless your heart you know that's yeah that little they say, oh, extra bless your heart <laughs> you know it's like oh no, that was a little jab jab <laughs> that was a, yeah, a little jab jab exactly yeah oh, bless your heart you're about as empty up there as a <laughs> yeah <laughs> Like in the movies, they always add like a little, you know, uh, yeah. it's, it's like a uh, compliment, but it's not. Right. Mm -hmm. I just rolled over my own foot with my chair. Ouch. Oh, no. It is the mean phrase. It's a totally mean phrase. Yep. What do you mean and liver? What am I missing? What did I say or not say? Or what did the side chat say? And liver. Help me out, Abe. And liver. Yep. I have a feeling half of a thing didn't go through on that one. Yeah. Ouch. That's so funny. Oh, bless your heart and liver. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. <laughs> a little bit late, but I got it. I, uh, I just got it, too. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, I can't do it. These are starting to bother me. I've got to find it's a better way. Oh, it took off skin. Oh, careful. Ouch. Oh, that on a Southern Woman's channel, she uses that phrase. That's hilarious. Well, bless your heart and your liver. <laughs> yeah why so that's not a double jab then huh that could be a double jab yeah. <laughs> basically punching you in the solar plex and then going around, like, <laughs> yeah. right uppercut at your liver and at your chin man they're wild women just doing it all with a little bliss your heart and brought in a sleep bird oh thank you bob appreciate that thank you oh, thank you bob I'm, so, I'm getting closer to 1000 so anybody can help me out i appreciate it thank you bob um if you don't have a camera no it picks it up usually i think 
Oh, but you have a laptop. I don't know, Stephanie jo I don't know, Stephanie Joe. I'm not sure. That's a good question. Maybe somebody in the side chat knows the answer to that. I don't know. I don't know either. What just happened. Well, I was letting your they gave me a um what do you call it on your channel? How they make money off of you. Oh. Yeah, I'm not sure. Like, I don't mean, let's see. Because that would be fun. Um, let's see. Can someone come up? Yeah, I'm just, you can talk amongst yourselves. Oh, talk amongst ourselves. Yes, talks it. Yeah, uh, so. Just like yeah, we're conversating. Caller. What else, what other words do I need to know, Steph? Yeah. Well, we're figuring this out down here in the cell. In the hauler. I know that there's some people that I can't even I can't even um, understand a lot of the times. Yeah, that would be hard. Yeah, it's like oh my goodness. Um, oh yeah, yep. Okay. Oh. Oh, it's talking about their phone. To use that oh with their camera off no that's not it i asked them about a computer no oh here it is what do you need for stream yard oh that's just the android and all that i don't know why they went into phone i didn't even use the word phone mm. probably looks we were talking about phones earlier <laughs> yeah weird up on that somehow. it did right yeah yeah I don't even it have those. Yeah. I guess it's strange. Yeah. If you want to try stuff, we can try. I can drop the link for you. Then she can correct me on all my. It my might verbiage. just show. Yeah. It might just show your avatar so you can do your audio still. It might show you as an audio. Um, yeah. That would be interesting. Pardon me we never that. know until we try, right? That's right. Hold on. Let me just get that done because we should be okay unless somebody waited 20 minutes to give me a hard time. That's okay. I've got like how many wrenches in the room? Hmm. I've got one wrench over here. <laughs> Homestead can float. I think you have him wrenched, right? If you have him yeah. wrenched, he can float. Yeah. He's gone over into the chat. Was it your chat that night or Diva's? He had to go in and get one. Uh, I think it was Divas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's try it, Steph. That's fun. And you can help with the Southern way and the Southern phrases. Oh, yeah, she can. That would be I fun. You know. I still wish I had, like, some of those Amish stores around me that you, you have. Like the, yeah. Uh, so nice. We don't have uh, anything. Need to go. I've, my, uh, where I get my feed, they're Amish, too. Yeah. And so... Um, I was going to film it inside. I was like, I'm going to go get organic feet. Oh, they're Amish. <laughs> Can't uh -huh. do that. They're not you can organic. film the outside, you know, but you you don't respectfully not want to film them. So, <laughs> Love you, Duncan. You're awesome, Brenda. whack a -troll squad standing by, ready for action. You're whack a troll <laughs> Oh, my gosh. That's too cute. Yeah. She's, okay, her rectangle is here, but... We think she might be showing her um, suite, her studio to someone. So oh. it was Vietra's birthday. And I said, well, you got to come and let Maureen sing because she's the better singer. So, oh, yeah. When awesome. I was, yeah. So he, it was his birthday. I think Barry's got a birthday. I think we got a couple birthdays. Somebody wow. else I saw someone else online. Um was saying they had a birthday. Who it's above. Oh, J3GN. It's J3 in the J3 chat J3. above. Yeah, the link's above you. It's You'll see my little... Oh, wait a minute. She's in yours. Come over to mine. Come over yeah, to my come over side chat. To... If you can. If you can click over. It's in my side chat. I forgot about you're in Laura's room. 
Oh, <gasps> storms. It is. I could probably share it over there. Okay, yeah, copy <clears throat> and paste it over there. Uh, we just have to close it out once it's over there. How like, do I? I can do it. It's okay. Let me okay. see. Let me try because I've got you open too. If she's not coming over. Oh, thank you. Love it. All my all my wrenches. <laughs> Be getting ready. All right. No, we were saying how you're a good floater in case somebody comes into one of the other side chats. Yeah. If they, if they have you wrenched, you are. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Let's you're a trusted man. <laughs> you're just watching for trolls, sir. That's what you're doing. There yeah. you go. Because I'm dropping links. I'll remove the one, I guess, in my own chat. I can remove that in a few minutes if you want to. Okay. So delete that. But I did want to. Uh, oh, never mind. My brain just went blank. It's probably the gummy. <laughs> I had a gummy. <laughs> I only have like a little bit. Somebody like. They're always teasing me about it because it's, you know, just a quarter. Right. I took a little bit more than a quarter tonight, just a little bit. And I think that's why I'm like, wee, all of a sudden, <laughs> oh, there goes the brain. I can definitely see how, um, you know, potheads have that, like, hey, man. <laughs> yeah. And there's just, yeah, okay. Unless you're me. You know, I'm like, oh, yeah, then your parent. I think you got too much, or you got a bad batch, or something. Something. Something happened there. And I, I don't dare try it. I, yeah, I was pretty sick that night, though, too. I was like, like almost like it was a bad reaction to the whole thing. Oh, yeah, you might be allergic then, maybe, or allergic yeah. to what they put it in. It was a, you said it was a gummy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or, it well, it didn't that. help that I was in the woods and there's bears around and there's oh you know, heck no, I would never do it in the woods. You know, there. and yeah. So, oh, be careful driving! It's so crazy. Yeah. Yeah, be careful, Beja. For sure, right? I know, Barry. I had to take it down a little bit. Just. Yeah, just the attitudes in the air and the, I just think sometimes like other, it, it's spiritual, but I, I wonder sometimes if it's a weapon, you know, where they are working on humanity and I'm not saying our own government, but I'm saying even outside sources when you're at yeah. war, like they work from the inside. They've been doing it for years and years and years. The KGB even admitted it. Somebody from the KGB even admitted it. Steph, are you no. trying that? And that was in the 80s. Yeah. Steph, yeah, you just have to click the... There she is! Oh my gosh! That's awesome! All right. Hey! Hey, that's cool. Ooh. Got it? Oh it actually... Oh, wait, I'm losing it. Of course, my Wi-Fi is acting up, right? It looked like. My song. Uh, Ooh. That might, I don't know how to fix that. Let me see if I can. I don't oh, know. Stephanie, do you have her playing in the background? Let because you got to mute that. Try that. that. I, I reduced the mic background noise. She turned off her mic. Oh, okay. I just clicked all the buttons in the edit mic settings just to see if that helps out. You can try again. Yeah, once you close out the any open windows that have us playing. Yeah. That's so much harder. Like, is she on a phone or a computer? No it's idea. harder to do on a phone. We'll just keep trying, Stephanie. It's okay. I'm glad to have you. Oh, wow. Oh, you do? I have a Jeep, so it's not. <gasps> okay. Oh, I know. I would love a Jeep. 
but that as soon as we moved here, our worship leader got killed in hers. Oh, it ro it rolled. that's right. I, I remember it that. Rolled. Yep, it was heartbreaking. Yeah. Oh, she does. She has some browser open on YT. Okay. Yeah, that's what we thought. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what? Yeah. That's better. It's a little buzzy, but it's better. You're just really quiet. Is there? Right. You're low. Let me see if I can I can edit it again and make you louder. Whoop. Okay. Turn you up. Try try again. I've never done this. This You're is doing so good. Cool. There you go. Oh my gosh, I have okay, so so <laughs> you are. Laura knows my voice, but you don't, Carol. No, it's wonderful. No, nope, I you. know your voice. You have a lovely voice, Stephanie Joe Roundtree. That's awesome. So now the southern things that Laura needs mm -hmm. to know. What do I need to know? Phrases that will help her. We were talking about, you know, oh, bless your heart. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I'm, I've i been here since the 70s, Laura. There's no <laughs> way of learning it all. No. Uh-oh. Uh we're not. that. That's not promising. That doesn't sound promising. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I've got a real lag. Oh, is that what's going on? Okay. You can, what you can do is if, is the link still over there, Laura? Uh, I believe so. You can exit out. It's, there's a little red button with an X in StreamYard right below us. It says leave studio and it's a little red button with a white X. You can leave and then just come back in and see if it catches the lag up a bit. Will do. All right. I'm so happy that you're on my panel. <laughs> it wasn't too bad because she answered me a little bit after, not that much after. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't too bad. Shoot. Everybody's so excited. Yay. Yeah. Oh, that's sweet. Success. Congratulations. Like, everyone's like, because we yeah. all know what that yeah. feels like. That have gone yeah. live. That yeah, moment. it's like all those milestones when you see people hitting, you know, like the first 100 and and just the different things, you know, or the yeah. first time they go live or, you know, yeah. on their own channel. Exactly. Oh, wow. That's so cool. We just got that last one left from Germany before they sold out to Fiat. Mm. Mm. I didn't know that. Shoot. I'm glad then I didn't get the jeep it was between the jeep and my dodge journey although i'm not you know particularly like woohoo my dodge journey it still was my first suv and first brand new car i ever had we always bought used yeah i like the jeep liberties those are nice yeah very nice not allowed to have six cylinders i could be naughty with the six cylinder mm. yeah i think that's part of the adhd yeah. The occasional, the occasional getting fed up with it, and whoop, just, yep. <laughs> you know, just go around them. Yep. An EV. Wait, the electrical? No. I'll let Laura tell you about what happened with her her electric vehicle. If you ever want to take a trip. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. No. Am I in the background? Huh? Do I have something open? Nope. I was hearing like me in the background somehow. Oh, I don't I don't think I have you open. Let me go check all the pages to see if I opened one by accident, like the volume. Um no, we had a we had a uh, a Taurus, not a Taurus. <laughs> yeah. The really nice one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Elon Tesla. Yeah. yeah. Elon. There we go. And yeah. And it's it's horrible traveling. There she those is. Things. Here's Stephanie. They're comfortable. There we go. But How are you yeah. doing? 
you go like 250 miles and you have to stop for eight hours to charge. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it might be a hybrid. So what, it can all go between the yeah. two? Yeah. Was Tesla, those, were they hybrids? No, or they, they were, were just electric. And those are the same ones people had a really hard time with in winter, charging their batteries. They Like when it got super, super cold. Okay, you thank you. Yeah. Homestead. I'll oh, drop. Oh, good night, little piece of heaven farm. I'll take that link down now. Yeah. So how you doing, Stephanie Joe? Are you with us? Or is the lag still there? I'm here. Oh, good. But you're all talking over one another. And of course. I'm not oh. sure I've got it right. Yeah. Well, we talk over each other, though, because we're like family. So. It sounded fine when you answered yeah. me. If you want me to answer anything, you're going to have to be really quiet so I can say what I want to say. Okay. Wait, Nanya, what did you want to say, Steph? No. Um, Laura was asking about uh, the Southern way, and it ain't happening. You know, I'm from the Midwest, and you just never learn. Hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. Is it like she was saying some are just really hard to understand, like their accent is so thick and they probably also have some slang in there. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Yeah. The slang. So is there different areas like around you guys that are more like that? Or is it because you're so far out in the like country well, there? Go ahead, Steph. I've only, I've only lived in the Midwest okay. in um, mid Tennessee. Mm. I've also lived in Fort Worth. Oh, okay. So, how would you compare Fort Worth Southern to where you Actually, are now? Actually, I found Fort Worth much friendlier. Mm. Wow. Interesting. Yeah, I have a friend. I hated the area. Oh. Shoot. But I absolutely love the the mid middle Tennessee. It's mm -hmm. perfect for me. Oh good. Good. I'm glad you found your, your place. So in where you're located, do you have some of those people who have just been there like all their lives and kind of mountain folk that, you know. You hear them and you're like, yeah, I have no idea what he said. Or <laughs> well, no mountain folk here. Oh, okay. It's mostly more of the flat and the, like we visited up near Nashville and like that Mount Juliet area and everything. You wouldn't even think that was like Tennessee. Like when you think of Tennessee right. out, as an outsider, you think of all the mountains and just. The yeah. land, and that this was just like a town that could have been anywhere. I mean, it was definitely a mountainous area because there were like hills for me. Like, I was like, oh, okay, I'm behind somebody's washer in the back of their pickup truck. I don't want to be here. <laughs> <laughs> you're on like an incline. So funny because you're like mountains. They're, they're hills to me. Yeah. Being from True. Oregon. True. You know, and, True. And living in, you know, and so it, to me, it's just like, oh, there's, you know, we live in the, it's hilly. It's not mountainy at all. Um, <laughs> poor, poor Vidra, he said, she didn't allow me to buy the 12-cylinder Jaguar. Mm, I wonder why. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's, I bet you are, like, you know, used to that, the really yeah. tall mountains and everything. But I, I noticed, like, as soon as you get closer to a bigger city, the accents kind of just almost disappear. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> you go rural, you know, more rural, and then there's lots of accents. And then there's some people that just have really thick ones, and then others. I think it has a lot to do with education. Mm. And uh, Yeah, I thought so, that that might be 
part of it. Storms, radios, and cats. Stephanie said that um, there is still a slight delay. He had the same issue with Randall, who he co-streams with. Uh, so I'm wondering if StreamYard's having issues with just certain computers or whatever. But um, Homestead Aquarius is saying, just remember, we ain't the ones with the accent because we live here. Start working. Ain't and can't into your vernacular. It helps. I noticed that. I have noticed that about true, like, Southerners. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I've heard that. I don't hear that much here, like, with the Florida, Ain't even though we it. are. Go ahead, Steph. Ain't doing it. <laughs> Ain't, Ain't doing, doing it. it. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard that's true, that phrase. Ain't for gonna sure. do it. Just ain't gonna do it. We call them hills too. Okay, what well, what I was referring to? Yeah, it was a hill. I mean, it was very mountainous. Like the, the range that I was looking at, the mountain range. I meant to say I was on a hill because it was a hill. Of course, <laughs> you know I'm a flatlander, so mountain comes out. But I was on a hill, and it still was an incline that I was very uncomfortable with. And I ended up actually doing one of these and going over here. And the guy with the truck was like, "What the hell, lady?" I'm like. Sorry, I've got, like I've got kids and well, you got that thing. Nash Nashville is is a very dangerous place to drive. So yeah, it's what it's one of the they call it Smashville for a reason. Oh my it's, gosh! It's, um, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I figured out the overdubbing. I had the page open. Sorry. Oh, okay. Oh, that's okay. And I closed out your page on YouTube. Yeah. And I can hear you guys. Oh, good. Yay. Sorry, that's Laura. What you, Laura. That's Laura what you meant. Sorry about Smashville. Yeah. <laughs> it's that. So, Miami is like that down here. They'll kill mm -hmm. you. They will kill you. When I was up there and we drove to Nashville, I don't, we went to, uh, the Opryland Hotel, we were able mm -hmm. to get in and like walk around and everything. And that was beautiful. And then I'm trying to think if where it was that we went downtown and the venue was a very old, mm -hmm. but it wasn't Nashville. It was outside. Maybe, mm -hmm. Ant maybe Antioch might have been. Is that how they say it? Antioch? Mm -hmm. um, it was an old movie theater that mm -hmm. they had rented. And it was funny. It was a YouTube channel. All these kids follow this YouTube channel. They meet up and do this meetup annually usually and some of the kids who have been watching them for years have ended up growing up and getting married like they've <laughs> made quite a oh, few funny. yeah it's a younger channel like you know mm -hmm. my daughter's age so say yeah. antioch yeah, yeah i think it was antioch where they had it i'm not positive though It was just, it was a little old movie theater. Maybe it was in Mount Juliet. I don't think so, though. I remember us leaving Mount Juliet because that's where our um, hotel was. And all the stores were, like, right there. Where hey, I was. Laura, you wouldn't recognize me. My hair is down to my shoulders. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, I hacked it off shortly before my mom died. Mm, I, I was just depressed. Yes. And um it's been two two and a half years. Wow. Uh, two almost two years yeah. since she passed away. Yeah. And I uh, I'm feeling it's been I've been pretty depressed. Yeah. I don't know why. I I was the only one caring for her. My other siblings mm -hmm. were out of state. Yeah. And I was the chosen. Yes, me too. Yeah. Pretty That's much. Yeah. And I accepted the responsibility. I absolutely loved my parents. Yes, me too. And my sister is jealous because yeah. I had my parents as friends, mm. not just yeah. parentals. Mm -hmm. And yeah. dad passed in 218, mom passed in 2022. 20, um, and since then, I've been 
kind of lethargic and yes, whatever. No. But Laura, you saw me and I appeared normal. I'm still normal, but um, yeah, <laughs> I hacked all my hair off. Like, I'm wow. Going through some yeah, shit. I was looking for this lady with this hair, like, you know. Yeah, like in yeah it does. well, it's like that now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. Karen teaches Southern English for ladies' class on every one of. Oh, really? She can provide a great example to follow. How funny. That channel. I'll have to check them out. Hannah Barron teaches Southern English. Ah! I'll have to look it up. <laughs> I know. It probably is funny. Yeah. You ain't to. You want to. Oh, my gosh. I would never get that. You want to? Is that how you do it? You want to? You want to? You want to? Okay. You want to? I'm trying that with my family tomorrow. You want to? I'll be like, oh, I'm the grammar Nazi in the group. <laughs> properly speak. <laughs> yeah. Instead of saying, oh, what I don't is properly. This thing about ending a sentence in the word at. I mean, take it out of your language. At, Not I mean, where are you at, but where are you? Mm, you yeah. Never end a sentence in a preposition. Oh, I used to drive my nephew nuts when I would say that, but I was speaking and I was like, Shut up. <laughs> no, just shut up. That's I'm just speaking. Leave me alone. I didn't take I didn't grow up. I didn't grow up, you know, being taught etiquette or anything. I struggled with those things. Both Laura and I did because of dyslexia. So mm -hmm. yeah, sentence oh, I think it's funny. My oh, mom that's not that's not the issue. I am dyslexic. You must be have some hyperlexia then. That you're I don't know. I was a straight A student. Yeah. Then and I was just work, honed yeah. in on yeah. details. Yeah. So you're on the spectrum too? Somewhere? I haven't a clue. I only learned that I might be dyslexic. That yeah. when my sister said <clears throat> she was visiting, uh, I don't know, five years ago. And she said, you know, those who are dyslexic um, see in pictures. And I said, what? Doesn't oh, everybody? I've never heard that before. There's visual thinkers, though, who aren't dyslexic. Yeah. <laughs> so that's not one of the things with dyslexia is you struggle even with your left and your right for mm -hmm. quite a long time, longer than your, you know people around you of the same age. Uh, another thing can be your working memory that when you're reading, nothing sticks. You have to keep reading it over and over yeah. again because that working memory is not grabbing hold of it and then filing it. And the misfiling, some of us can have what I have, which is sometimes occasionally aphasia where I just, I know it's there, but I can't access right. it because my brain just filed it somewhere. Right. And you can like, you hear me or? Oh. Yeah, you're perfect. Yeah. All right. Um, no, none of that applies. Okay. So you're not just, I, you sound more hyperlexic. Yeah. With details. And did what you read, did you read early? I have no clue. Oh, you don't know. Um, well, you said details of sentence structure. Were you always kind of able to memorize that? Like in grammar, were you really great with grammar? Yes. Okay. Usually you're reading early. You're great with like grammar and sentence structure because your brain just boop grabs it. You have photographic mm -hmm. memory with words is basically yes, it. it's the opposite. So you're not dyslexic. You're hyperlexic, which is yeah. actually you gain an advantage. I was very glad my daughter was hyperlexic with her high functioning autism because it helped pull out words quicker. Mm -hmm. She could read she could memorize sentences and she could type things out. She would type out little stories and it helped to get her speaking because otherwise she was like totally silent when other kids were speaking at, you know, three and four, she was still like maybe one or two words. I actually um, was the lead female in our 
class play, which was not acceptable in my family, but my mom wow. absolutely loved it. Um, <clears throat> we were all about academics and yeah. you don't go beyond, you don't go into drama and all that. Mm -hmm. yet. Yeah. But I snuck out from a class and went to try out and Ooh. I got a female lead in our senior class play. That's and neat. the idea of memorizing the whole play, I had it down pat from the beginning. And it was awesome. It was like, and my mom and my younger brother, because my two older siblings were often gone, yeah. came to the play. And my, my mom was so excited <laughs> that I did so well. There is a picture of her holding my face in our yearbook. And oh, I, oh, it's so sweet. It's that's so pretty. Oh, that's wonderful to have. What a great picture. My problem is my mother and my father, my dad was like the chronicler of our life. And he did a pretty darn good job because I am loaded down with photos everywhere. And for the first year, yeah, I couldn't really go through them too much at all. Yeah. Couldn't, couldn't deal with it. So I'm glad you came up, Steph, because I know that was, I know what it's like. I do. I definitely do. And I think, you know, you kind of know I do because you saw it. You saw me going through it and I felt so bad because you had just experienced it. And then you're watching, you know, m my pain, which probably was not helpful for your pain. So I'm really sorry. That's about okay, that. Penny. <laughs> Thank yeah, well, it's, it's like, I get it. I got yeah. it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> they're having a whole southern like back and forth and side chat. It's oh, that's like, funny. Uh, might lose a finger to a snapper. <laughs> <laughs> it would be worth it, Homestead. <laughs> true enough. True enough. <laughs> true enough. <laughs> that's so funny. We have to do like something like that. Would be great. Yeah, like this. I have. To, I have to tell you. That my dad was a whole different story. Mm. He was so, he was what he called a yellow dog. Do you know what that is? No, no. A yellow dog. Oh, yeah. so far left. Whoever is on the ballot, you're going to vote for him. Oh, oh. oh. That's what I grew up in. Mm. And he was one of the leaders of the 1968 delegation, uh, the walkout from the mm. Democratic Party. Mm. Oh, he was he on left the it. front line. Yeah, oh. I mean, there are pictures of him on Newsweek magazine back in wow. the day. Wow, wow. It was, I was at home watching it all on TV and going like, that's my dad wow it was pretty weird and here i am a far yeah. right person <laughs> right <laughs> isn't that funny because my parents were that way too they would be like yelling about you know msn and cnn when i would go in there and you know the other side which i'm like oh, okay i'm kind of the other side but i'm not mm -hmm. going into this with two at me nope <laughs> That's how my mother in law is, and, and it's oh, you know, hard. it makes it interesting, yeah. You know? And like, we, we want to accept everybody here, no matter what your view is. You know, you're definitely free, but know that most of my friends and myself were conservative, and I don't want to bring up too much politics because it's so dividing. We don't, but, oh, you know, no, why here. not? <laughs> <laughs> Uh oh, Stephanie gets up here the first time. She's gonna get me canceled, Laura. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna get you canceled. I'm you kidding. know what? I, I I watch some of these videos and I say we can't say this word, and then I go over to another person that I watch and, and they, they say do. those words, and yeah. they don't get canceled. And I'm going like, okay, I don't understand. What it. the yeah. f? Yeah, yeah, I don't understand it. Well, that's just like being uh, 
I'll just say being accused of trolling somebody and you ha aren't even going over to their channel. I don't know how that happens. Like, yeah, I haven't been around certain channels and, and it sounded like I was being accused of it because somebody sent me a video and I was like, yeah, I have no time for that. And I'm not that techie. I have like one extra account and it's a fishes and loves life. So no. And I, I don't have any extra accounts. Yeah. I basically leave it completely alone. Like I don't do anything yet. I just wanted to kind of keep the name, but I didn't want to use it anymore. Mm -hmm. I wasn't. Is I, that you? What? Fishes and loves. Yeah. You didn't oh, recognize God. me. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, Laura and I were part of a mass exodus. Mm -hmm. Yep. Hey, yeah. Laura, would yeah. you please add an H every time you spell my name? Because you call me Step oh. instead of Step. Oh, Steph? Steph. Like okay. with an F? I'll, tr I'll try to remember yeah. that. Every time I see that, I'm going like, I know she's saying it in her head that I'm <laughs> Steph, but she's calling me Step. Yeah. 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 I'm a dork. That's okay. We love you anyways. Yeah, they can. Yeah, absolutely. And I do too. I do too. Yeah, and I try not to judge people. We just live with it all our lives. Uh, and it, boy, could my parents get rowdy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my, oh my God. My best friend is a far left person. So there and you she go. Thinks yeah. Trump is Antichrist. <laughs> oh, wow. So really, and really, I yeah. I love her dearly. And I can't fault her for her thought process. And that's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That <laughs> GT's like, what is going on? Yep. <laughs> yeah. It, it, amen. Amen. I will say amen to that. That's right. They want it to be. Yep. Yes. They and do. they're holding church all the time about it. Yeah. Yeah. No. Mm -mm. Yeah. I know. I'm trying not to, GT, really. Trying not to. Oh, that's yeah. hard. Wow. Uh, yeah. Save save your politics for the voting booth. Yeah. We have to now. It's just yeah. you can get hit on here if you're a small channel. For some reason, like Stephanie said, but you can go over to other larger channels and they mm -hmm. can say names, they can do pictures, they can do all this stuff. And it's like, yeah. what's, are you an undercover agent too? Like, what's going yeah. on here? Like, how? How do you get away with that? But they cancel smaller channels. Right. Oh, well, that was good. Yeah, my parents weren't Christians um, until I want to say I was about 10. And we had a church right behind our house. And that's where we went to take um, my mom, my great grandmother. My mom and my dad took my great grandmother. We all went and then we ended up at that church my parents uh got saved there i have a great picture of them at their beach baptismal that i did find through the you know pictures that i have of them so yeah um i was allowed to go to church out in california and i liked it and then it was so neat that we ended up having one in our backyard and i kind of grew up in and out of like youth group and just the church but my parents kind of gave it up and that broke my heart because they were, um, it kind of helped them. Like it did really kind of help tone things down. <laughs> yeah. You know, how did, how did you end up in Florida? Well, my dad came here for, he came here for the, uh, IBM personal computer, all that, that, the IBM like got really big at that time because they were going to push out the PC and it, the big hub was Boca. And so we all moved from California to Boca because he got a transfer. Um, and we got a transfer to San Jose, California from Manassas, Virginia. So it's just like they say, IBM is I've been moved. If you're an IBM kid. <laughs> yeah. 
But uh, yeah, that's how we ended up here. And I just never left. My parents actually left for retirement and went to PA where my mom's like cousins were and everything and where she grew up. Mm -hmm. it, it, like that was home to her. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry they didn't stay there in Florida. Oh, yeah. That was really hard to get her all back here. But thankfully, God worked that out, too, because my uncle and my cousins packed up a pod and even helped pack up her things and. Yeah, they they did us such a solid on that. <laughs> yeah, Aiden here's got some. He's got some left wing friends, a little on both sides, I guess. They try to never make up. That's great. Yeah, and I don't want to do that really for anyone, you know. Except because right. you know, I'm a Christian, you know. Of course, we preach Jesus, but it's all free will. You know, it's up mm -hmm. to you what you want to do. Thank you, Bob. Yeah, you saw one come in. That was very sweet. That was May sweet. I change the subject? Sure. Has anyone invested in foreign currency? No, I, I have not. Mm -hmm. Why? What's going on with the foreign currency? Oh, boy. This is a big subject. Okay. Um, the re-evaluation has started, which means all the monies, you, you've heard of the Brooks, B-R-I-C-S. Yeah. I've heard of it. Okay. Well, we're I about don't... to have a huge failure with the fiat currency. And if you don't have anything invested in foreign currency, like the dinar or the dong or the bolivar all the gold or the zim. all the gold supported currencies you mean yes okay you are going to be in for a mm, it's yeah. going to be sorry for you so over the last few years i've been i don't have any money but i have slowly invested in a few of these Mm -hmm. It should turn out to be a lot of money and you just need to get into foreign currency. Mm. And do you, who do you go to for that usually for, yeah. Uh, like, um, you have to have a broker at a big agency to go and do something like that. No, you don't. Okay. Um, it, let me think it, about the yeah, name. We're I use, first of all, I use Kirk Elliott, PhD. He's got two degrees. Wow. And I use him for silver investments. And then I use, oh, crap. I want to say Brave New World, but that's not right. Um, I can look it up. Okay. You, if you're interested is there is there though like when you're going in to do these investments is there a minimum that they will say you know okay no milesfranklin.com mm -hmm. is another one that will help you in investing okay um i'm trying to look him up i watch the original mark Z on YouTube. Okay. He's never been canceled, which is effing amazing. Yeah. He's one of those that walks the edge, but yeah. he has a show every morning at 9 a.m. Central Time. And um, I highly recommend that you listen to him. Mm. He actually has a Saturday morning show. Um, but usually Monday through Friday. Um, anyway, I'm I wow. I deep dive into currencies. That's amazing. And I have slowly over the last few years collected like the Zim. If mm. you have a trillion, yeah, there you go. Yeah. If you have, have a trillion dollar bond of zim 
when you go to get it in US dollars, it's between 30 and 50 million dollars. Wow. But you might have paid $130 for it. Wow. That's crazy. That's insane. I know. It sounds crazy, but it's just a matter of where do you invest? Yeah. How long does you are you usually riding it out? Like, is that a long-term investment or a get in and get out kind of an investment? It's a long-term. Okay. It's long-term. Yeah. And Okay. I'm, you know, I'm one Which of those. Which is good. Long-term ones are actually good. You want to, I think it's diversify is the correct uh, word. Because I was reading a book and I need to finish. And uh, yeah, it's all about your finances, just finances and investing. He hits on investing and he's all for those long hauls. Yeah. And I have a bunch of channels that I watch mm -hmm. um, that most people don't watch. Mm -hmm. um, all right. Homestead Aquarius is saying, I speak to something folks need to seriously look into. But remember, if you don't hold it, you don't own it. That's right. Yeah. Um, the silver that I've ordered, I always make sure I keep it. I don't put it in some vault. Yeah. You know, yeah. Um, the uh, possession is nine tenths of the yeah. law. You yeah. got it, kiddo. Right. Yeah. But it's not just silver. Yeah. I can't afford gold, but mm. I invested in silver a few years ago and I'm going like, yeah, we're about to hit. Where mm -hmm. silver may go from twenty five to twenty five hundred. Oh, wow. I mean, you know, you're you're at the edge. Mm -hmm. If you have any spare money, buy silver. Yeah, and then look at purchasing from B N W. I cannot remember the full name. Um, banknote world banknote world.com okay and you can buy zimbabwe which is great and also with zimbabwe you can have um humanitarian projects oh nice and you know you might only have 20 million worth of Zimbabwe, which sounds ridiculous, but they will give you 200 million to do your project if you have a good humanitarian project. And the other ones that I've invested in is Dinar, Dong, Bolivar, and Yellow Dragon. Mm. Okay. So I'm are you watching them go up or you're just saying they're about to just go crazy? They're about to go crazy uh, okay. because of the bricks. And they're, they're finagling between Iraq and the U.S., which is why, what's his name, um, just came over from Iraq to deal with the Federal Reserve, which, by the way, is not a government agency, if you know anything about our government. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Andy, Andy Schweckman, I see him almost every Friday oh, yeah. Yeah. on uh, Mark Z's show. He is awesome. Oh, good for you, Diva. You yeah, better hang investor. on to those Zims. She's an investor, Deepa is. Yeah, we all need to kind of learn from each other with this. Like, for those of you who are investing for the beginners, we have no clue. Like, I don't know. We never invested in my family except for, well, I can't say that. We had a 401k. Dad had a 401k. We have a 401k. But we never 
diversified that. Like my parents mm-hmm. had some land. Position. I have nothing. You know, I had a divorce in yeah. 2009 and all we had was debt. Yeah. I got completely out of debt. I got Amazing. completely out of, I'm mortgage free, debt free. And then I oh, spent yeah. a few on foreign currency because of what I heard in my community. Yeah. And I highly recommend that if you got a, a hundred or 200 bucks, you can spend, buy it. Yeah. Zimbabwe, okay. uh, Bolivar, Dong, or Dinar, because we're about to break out of this bullshit and our actually our our country mm-hmm. will be gold based mm. we're now a fiat country yes we are it's about to change over yeah. yep you're right aquarius yeah. yeah i'm taking pictures some said aquarius you guys in the side chat giving stuff you know Giving all the we blow, a blowhard, but I just, it was like, I've been holding this back for you guys for forever and thinking, I need to tell these girls to look this up. Yeah, thank you. What just happened here? Sorry, the light went off. Um, yeah, I didn't, I'm glad you brought that up. I wouldn't have thought, but is this actual, I know this is going to sound dumb. Is this actual um, physical currency and then you're investing yes. with somebody? Okay. No, no. What I have is I have physical bills. Oh, great. Okay. A certificate of authenticity. Okay. Got it. Which means when we get the go ahead, it's called the RV, that we can take it into the re-evaluation centers. Some of them may be banks, but n- not all of them because okay. the ZIM is uh, mostly for humanitarian projects. Um, but it depends on your age and how you want to deal with all the m- wealth you receive yeah yeah and it's gonna be a big deal it's like you know folks like me that honey my social security check is 712 dollars a month Mm. and i still can save enough to buy foreign currency yeah yeah. And I just because you're do- doing it a bit at a time, correct? It's like Yes. Yeah, exactly. I've been doing it for a couple of years. Amazing. That's great. And it I'll probably buy when the R V actually happens, mm. it will be millions of dollars. And if I got one million, I'd be happy. <laughs> Sorry. Right? That, yeah, that would make a lot yeah. of people happy. I'd be very happy with a million, too. I'm sure my husband would be ecstatic. He sees me pull in a million. That would be shocking, too, I think. Too. <laughs> my point in saying all that I've been saying is that, oh, my God, I, I think of you as family. Oh, and thank I just you, want you guys to get some wealth. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate that. I think I took. Yeah, it's not expensive, Diva, when you do it a little bit at a time. Yeah, true. Right? And me too. I could do with some six zeros behind my money. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So it's tricky. I just made $8,000 with my silver investment. Whoa. Wow. 
I know. And I bought it two years ago. That's amazing. That's good. It's still priced at way above mining costs, but many things could happen. That's really good. Well, too, I know uh, Homestead Aquarius also physical. He's got his silver coins, his gold. He's got some copper. He's the coin man, but, you know, he doesn't do a lot on his channel with the coins and explain that, which, you know, maybe you can do that sometime, Homestead, on who, who is a live this? Homestead Aquarius. He sent, oh. he sent okay. coins out as prizes for people because he's very into also, you know, all of this. Um, are but we buffering? I don't know. Are we? GT. Steph, are, you, are you still good? Diva, are you still with us? Oh, he's saying we're buffering. Shoot. Let me see. I'm trying to open us up. Uh, of course, they're every one of them is delayed. Let me see. Come on. <laughs> the Central heck? banks are wicked. I can't even. It's not letting me, and now it just changed off your channel. What the hell? Excuse mm -hmm. me. Can Why? Hold on. Oh, there she is. Am hey, I back? Beautiful. My mic. There. Yay. You're here. Can you hear me? Can yeah. you hear me? You're good. Oh, but I can't hear you. What am I what uh -oh. have I what I am I know. missing? Oh, maybe Do you plug or a switch or you? No. Maybe I'll go out and come back in. She, she can't, can't hear her on the computer, maybe. I've made oh. that mistake several times. Well, I'm muted on the computer just because oh. you know you're like Yeah. I didn't leave the silver and she you right don't want to hear it for some reason. Yeah, he's a stacker. That's what I wanted to say. Homestead Aquarius is a stacker. He buys precious metals pretty much any chance he can. Good for um, you, Aquarius. Yeah. And then he rolls them over like, you know, is what he showed us. Like he was showing us how he turned copper into silver and went in there with all his pennies to his place and was able to come nice. out with silver. It was kind of cool. Yeah. Yep. I do too, but you know, convincing my husband. Eh. All the metals are important. Yeah. Copper, platinum. You'll be, you know, you're no, not you going to lose. You should. Because, especially the silver, because there's only a limited quantity. I mm. mean, I there I've had this thought in my head that silver may outrun gold. Because silver is used in technology, gold is not. Mm. I'm getting it, Diva. It is. Yeah, silver and platinum. That's why they, they buy phones back because there's a lot of silver in them. Yeah. Exactly, well, they were, honey. They were mining, I thought, gold, though, out of computers for a while. Did they stop using the gold in the computers? I don't know. No, that's silver they're taking out of computers. Uh, Homestead, which one is it where they go into the computers? And you know, I've talked about it. I've seen a video of them doing it, but I, I thought it was gold. That's why they... Oh, no. Oh, no buffering there. Thank you, Annette. Thanks for being with us. Yeah, appreciate it so much. Yes, barter and skills first. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, while you're bartering and you're doing your skills, you can, yeah, you got to you learn how to buy, a, yeah, too. buy a coin. But, yes, that's going to be very important. I mean, that's like my brother-in-law and his family and our family are coming together and we're like buying pigs together and doing animals together and all of that stuff. Diva, put it in there, Diva. There it is. I think that's so cool, Laura. Yeah. Yeah, but because, you know, we're, you know, four people, right? So a pig or two pigs is too much for one person. Yeah, or gold one, is, you know, is why. Yeah, gold is and so is silver. So it's, yeah. 
Yeah. Gold is used as well as silver and electronics. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we are both right. It's both because I've seen them harvest the gold and it's such tiny little things and they get them all together and then mm -hmm. get the tiniest bit like and you wonder, okay, did you pay for those all those computers you just took apart or motherboards or whatever you're taking apart? And like at uh at Goodwill they literally have special needs kids that take those computers apart so that they can send them into a place to to melt it down to from the old it. computers how brilliant mm -hmm. wow our our goodwill won't accept any computers you have to take them to uh, office depot yeah you do now but back yeah. in the day if you ever have a reset electrical breaker in your house. Oh, interesting. You're handling silver. I didn't know that. That's probably why our electrical. That's why they're so expensive. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking. <laughs> I just put one in a, a year ago. Yeah, yeah. Circuit boards are the base users of gold. More specifically, motherboards. Oh, good to know, Anne. Thank you. Oh, that's nice. Oh, there she is. I almost thought it was a... I almost thought I got a troll or something. Because your picture didn't show up. There she is. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Hello, Stephanie. Yeah, Can I know you... I had uh, I had a, a, a stressful... Well, it, wasn't, it was a family emergency that happened earlier today, but I was just getting informed about it. So oh, I did send, I send it in the Facebook chat so you'll know. Okay. Uh, what about, but um, right. yeah, so, and then now my, my system, my microphone system won't work. Like the microphone oh. works, but I can't yeah, hear anything. Right. So I'm just going off of my, my, uh, we can hear you just fine. Yeah. You sound good even now. What you're yeah. Doing. yeah. Yeah. We heard you before on the mic, but you couldn't hear us with the headphones. Right. She's going to drive her nuts because she's used to. Yeah. She likes her voice sound. a certain way. Yeah. Yeah, I know what he's saying. Audio, <laughs> audio giftedness. That's why she has that yes. audio. Let me see. Mandatory. We were just talking about gold and silver, as you know, and now we were talking about Ugh, the electronics. I too much water. I'll be right back. Okay. Mandatory electronics are signed from being engaged in many places. <laughs> oh, Laura. Wow. Silver, gold, instead of mine. Oh, okay. That's cool. That's awesome. They're using the recycled. Why not? That's pretty smart. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. she does. Yes, she does. Mm, thank you. Thanks. Do you know? Do you know that mm -hmm. under the Trump administration, right. do you remember when he went to the Vatican and you I, had that awful picture of Trump grinning and the Pope? Uh, so down laden. I remember mm -hmm. that photo. Yeah, you For know that? you can't. Yeah, I do. But what you know, he stuff. He demanded the gold back to the U.S. and oh. it took six hundred and fifty planes to bring the gold back to the U.S. Does mm -hmm. anyone know who Dr. Jan Helper Hayes is? No. You no. need to look her up. She is awesome. Okay. She has worked with the Trump administration. Stephanie, she we call him 45 on here because you can get my channel shut down by continuing to say his name. I'm sorry. I didn't want to cut you off, but we don't say his name. Okay. We call him 45. It, I'm it, sorry it, you okay. have an issue. Uh, yeah. I did not know that. Okay. No, I don't have an issue. YouTube does, and they'll take my channel uh, from oh, me. Okay. Some yeah. channels never have that issue. I know that. You? They're supported okay. in some other Got way. It. I'm not. Yeah. Not. Anyway, my point is, check out Dr. Jan Helper Hayes. She's American living in the UK and she works for the Department of Defense DOD 
Okay. And she is totally clued in to what's going on. And um, my point being, <laughs> sorry, I'm getting lost in my thoughts, but yeah, she, there's 650 planes from the Vatican to the United States with gold. We have enough gold here in the United States to back up our quote unquote fiat dollar into gold backed currencies. And we're about, if you can ask your bank, go to your bank and ask them if they have the new USN. In other words, United States notes, not the fiat currency. You're, you will be able to exchange, exchange your fiat currency soon into actually gold-backed notes. We're, we're moving into a system where yeah. there will be no debt. If you got a mortgage, you it's like the year of jubilee. Your 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 mortgage will be wiped out. I'm one of those that paid off my mortgage, paid off all my debt. So I'm not gonna experience that, but mm. we are moving into a new era. Yeah. I don't yeah. mean to be sure. weird, but no, it's not weird. It, oh, uh, it, no. it is happening, and yeah. it, we're so close to it. Yeah, we're about to change over, and we haven't been in a gold standard, Mike is saying, for 80 years. Wow. I know. I, don't play gold, so. I thought it, yeah, I thought they, it was they've been it saying was, it for a long time, Lynette. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah. Actually, like all of this, my my sister had um, had bought some currency like she was told, um, I think it would be more like 20 years now. And so that's one of the reasons why I had bought what I bought. And and it wasn't expensive, um, okay. you know, to, because it's like when you're buying it, when you're buying it in their currency with your dollar, it's just like, you know, when you go to buy pesos, like, um, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's like, it doesn't cost you a lot to buy a whole lot of pesos. And so with with some of the money that i i did purchase you know i i'm it's costing me like point you know like nine cents per dollar mm. so you can go a lot of a very far uh, far way with how much money that you can actually purchase and right then now if you just, before it yes okay. yeah and so if you're buying it you know if i'm buying it at nine cents and then let's say it just goes to a dollar then you know that currency just moved from let's say you know um ten thousand dollars of that currency and now it's worth thirty six thousand dollars worth of that currency wow. exactly wow mm -hmm. yeah so it's like oh i got go those like two hundred dollars i don't did we just pause sorry oh. No, no, no. I just didn't know if something happened or if my Wi-Fi dropped because of the way it just went boop and we all went silent. Oh. <laughs> That's not like this screen. This people, my people. <laughs> what happened? Okay, I'm not, I'm trying to follow you, Homestead Aquarius, but forgive me. Word of caution, a debt jubilee is not exactly a given thing. More likely it will be reevaluated into the new system and that never favors the debtor. Only the system will be favored. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not buying that. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm hitting the wall, guys. Yeah, I've got to I'm going to shut it down because it's been almost we're three forty three hours and forty minutes. So I appreciate you all, you know, being here with us and we're talking about peace. Well, you know, too financial peace is something to look into, and there are good teachers on YouTube mm -hmm. for that to get your money uh, together 
too, before we hit that wall as best you can. Um, you know, one step at a time. So if any of this stress you out, don't stress. Go to that peaceful mm -hmm. place, whether it's worship music or whatever, you mm -hmm. know, um, or it's painting. Just find your peaceful place. And we hope that next time we see you that you would have taken more of that peace upon you this week than all the chatter and noise, as Laura mm -hmm. called it, which I love. I'm so excited. Have a really good night, guys. Thank week. you. Yeah, that was fun. Bye. Bye. That was Bye. really fun. Love Thank you, you guys. Love you.